figured out how to I can I can snooze this now <laughs> nice okay so I figured out that my ads run exactly one hour away from each other so um in one hour hi funny hey hey yo um I I have an ad that comes on again in an hour so um if one of y'all can make sure to tell me in an hour when we have another ad and then I can press snooze because I get three snoozes every stream so we can never have ads that'd be great because remember I don't need money for this this is for fun fun only twitch doesn't even give me money anyway I feel like I get like two cents <laughs> uh, but um but yeah we're gonna be hanging out with um with crystal I'm so excited we're doing um um, oh, I should set a timer. Yeah, you're right. I should totally do that. I think actually, I think Twitch does timers. Maybe I can put a timer. Um, text, color, image, browser, application? No. Template. Clock! <laughs> Click OK. Timer. Click OK. And then... Um, time remaining filters, okay, and then click okay. Does it work? Um, I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see about that. I don't know about that one, nurse, but we'll figure it out. Okay, um, hello? What are you doing? I think I said it for a minute. I don't think it's a minute. Because it's not, 
It's not moving seconds? We'll... We'll figure it out. Oh, click start. Oh, it is a minute. Oops. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and undeafen myself. Because I want to talk to Crystal T. Boop. Hello. Oh, there we go. Hello. I tried making a timer. I don't think it worked. Um, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> you noticed? Oh, no. <laughs> yes, I have your stream open as well, and I was checking to see how far along we were, and I see you playing with the timer. Oh, wait. I can change it. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Oh, my God. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, um, we'll go ahead and put 59 seconds, because I've probably, we'll put 58 minutes, I've been putting, yeah, we'll do no sound effect, um, we'll do, um, we'll do a magic wand, that sounds cute, okay, start, okay, okay, there we go, <laughs> you got it, um, but yeah, Hi guys, this is Crystal. I love her. She is my moon. Um. Hello. <laughs> and this is Grandma Grace. I think everyone in my chat already knows you. Yeah, yeah. Hi, you guys. Um, Mortal, I swiped yeah, the first button mm -hmm. from you um, for Crystal. For, from Crystal, so haha. <laughs> oh yeah, she got my first sub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had to get it. Which means I also, I, I mentioned it in my intro, but that means mm -hmm. you can use my emoji. Oh yeah! Oh my god, now I gotta spam chat with them, wait. <laughs> I can also use them in your chat. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Advertisement. <laughs> no, press. Oh wait, maybe I should- wait, I should advertise mine too. Wait, can I use mine? Yes, I can. Yeah, you can. You should be able to. <laughs> there we go. Okay, yeah. But, um, but yeah, um, I'm sure you've probably already explained the rules because you're an amazing streamer, and I am. I did not. I wanted to wait know. until we were both talking so we don't have to repeat. <laughs> yeah, that's probably smarter. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, I can explain it if you want. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> okay, so essentially, yeah, Pokemon fusions. But what we're gonna do is we both have the random Pokemon generator, and we're only generating one Pokemon because. We're both going to generate one ourselves and then combine them, and we both have the same fusion but in our own way. And then mm -hmm. at the end, we reveal how we took the fusion, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to leave, like, um, like maybe I should do... Here, I'll do a... Um, I'll do crystal signature blue. But, like, in a lighter color. And we'll put hers on signature this Signature blue. The amount of times people have said that's my signature blue, it's so funny to me. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, very, someone it's in, very calming. There's someone in the server that calls it um, crystal blue. <laughs> yeah. And they even ask how I get it. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Is everybody ready to get started? <laughs> so do you want to go first, Grandma? Yeah, sure. Are you ready? Yep. We have to generate. Oh. So what's your Pokemon? So boring. Oh, no. What is it? It's Clink. So it's, it's not even the. It's oh. not even the fun Pokemon. It's here. I'll put it in. It's Discord. the first one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Clink. Oh. Black and white one. Boring. I mean, you can have some fun with that if you got a Gears. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do something fun with it. It's just. Not fun in his in. base form. <laughs> Although I will yeah, say his I mean, little face. Yeah, if it was the final four, it. that would be interesting. <laughs> but my Pokemon is... Oh, Sir Valley. Uh-oh. That's the one Gladian has. <gasps> oh. In Sun and Moon. Okay. I can work interesting with that. Interesting, because... Um, interesting, because these are like sort of both artificial Pokemon. Mm-hmm. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Okay, um... Boop. We gotta cross these two. Exciting, exciting. So a black and white Pokemon and a sun and moon Pokemon. Mm -hmm. How am I gonna do this? Okay, 
Um, and then what's the guy's name again? Uh, what's well, Savalian? Sir, Savali. 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 Hang on, put it in chat. Okay. There you go. It's oh. Savali. Okay. I know. I gotta make my pen funny. Funny, we got a very complicated design Pokemon and then a very simplistic Pokemon. I know, I was like, this is gonna, this is either gonna be very simple or very difficult. I oh, know. it's a beta Arceus? Okay, all right, you can live in your lives. <laughs> it's a beta Arceus. Well, I think that's because, um, what is it? It's like, its ability is like, it's called R-K-S, the oh. Arceus, so he is, whoop. Someone sub, hang on. <gasps> yep, yep, mortal who <laughs> gave a community sub. Thank you. <laughs> I told you oh, I yep. had to get in before he got it. He came second, mortal. She beat you. <laughs> um... So it's like, it's the, it was designed to uh, fight Ultra Beast. So I think it does, it is supposed to have some influences from Arceus, but. It's definitely. A little weirdo. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, the the previous form type null has the mask on. Hmm. Because apparently it was too unstable. Oh. Well, that's. But it just needs some love. Oh, the poor unloved child. Yeah. What? Okay. Put you right here. Um, well, this should be excellent fun for me. Let's see. Okay, that's good enough. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the ad is over. Um, I kind of got a vague idea how I want to do this. Yeah, that's good. I'm kind of struggling a little bit. But I think I'll get somewhere. I think I'm gonna go kind of funny with it. I'm so kind of going a very a lore route kind of idea. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. He kind of looks like like a machine a little bit. Kind of, yeah. He's he's kind of supposed to be like a chimera because if you look, he's kind of got like bits and bobs that don't look like they were supposed to be designed that way. Cool. It kind of almost looks like he's got pieces from like other Pokemon. Hmm. I think. Is that like a. Is that. Is that what? His like little head crest, I think is like, I thought it was like a ear thing, but I think it's just like a little, like it's like a head, like it really is, that's, huh, huh. Like the, okay. the, the axe thing on his head. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a real, that's a real strong design choice. <laughs> <laughs> I think he uses it for attacks. Okay, okay, good, because I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, girl, I don't, this ain't... <laughs> <laughs> never looked at ty you've never looked at Cell Valley that closely. Oh no, N not definitely not. <laughs> like this man's got got quite the figure. I'll tell you what. <laughs> okay, well, Clank is like a flying type, isn't it? Because it like covers no, it's steel. Oh, it's steel, so it it can't fly. Uh, does it have levitate? Let me check real quick. Can Silvalli fly? No, it does not have. It does not have levitate. Silvalli is a um, I believe its whole thing is just a normal type. But um, it's yeah, Arceus system. That's its ability. It changes the Pokemon's type to match the memory disc it holds because it has a. You can give it these memory discs that change its type. Okay, all right. I kind of, I kind of mess with that. That's kind of good. 
but I, I'm still... Canadian. He, he's designed as a machine. This man is still weird to me. Th this poor thing. <laughs> what am I... What... You know what's really funny as well? Is, um... A Savali shows up in, um... In Sword and Shield, and keep in mind the whole wall behind them is essentially were man made by the um Inter Foundation, like Lucimina's crew. And like you can read files on it, and it's described quite like horrific that these guys went through so much pain to be made. And then you find one in like you find this woman in uh, Sword and Shield who has one, and you think it's the one that ran away because originally there's only been three. There's one Gladian's one, one he gives you, and then there's one that ran away apparently. But no, this woman just says, oh, we found the files from the Ether Foundation and now we're mass producing these monstrosities. Oh my god. And I'm like, I'm like, oh my god. Horrific. The poor baby. No, these poor things can never catch a break. Oh my god. I... Please tell me that she has, like, her comeuppance either through murder or through, like, illness. Well, the random lady. Yeah, because that's terrible. No, she's that's... just a random worker for the um the main group in Thorn Field. Aww. I don't like her. She can get bent. <laughs> Aww. I, I, I think this thing is... What am I... How... You poor bastard. Okay. Um... <laughs> And then, <laughs> you don't see what I'm doing, but it's like, it's going to be pretty, it's going to be pretty, um. <clears throat> oh no, oh no, oh no, okay, um. Good. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. You sound like you're struggling. <laughs> No, I'm good. I'm good. Nothing's nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. Just don't look at my um. Just don't look at my screen. I'm not. That's <laughs> that would ruin the surprise. Mortal. <laughs> don't don't tell don't tell her chat, mortal. Don't tell her chat. <laughs> I gotta drink some water. Mortal threatening too. <laughs> no, he's just saying he can't. Oh man. Oh god. Okay. I don't think. I don't think that properly got the image across that I was wanting. Let me... Okay. <clears throat> I hate that Kling Clans has a face. <laughs> uh-huh. It's so weird looking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely... <laughs> That's like spoiling it's an anus. It's kind of clown <clears throat> oh my god, my throat. You good? I think I'm okay. But yeah, no, you're right, <laughs> Mortal. That would be like, um, that would be like, <laughs> like ruining an Ignis drawing. It's <laughs> um. Mortal being mean. No, he's, he's being funny. He's being funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> let me think. How, how do I want to... What even is this? Like, this body is so messed up. Like, this poor thing is in so much pain. It's gotta be. Yeah, I think it's the Pokedex entry describes something along those lines where it's like in pain or something. Because that's why they wear the helmet in the previous form, is they just, they're so unstable that they need the helmet to stay under the control. If I bring up its Pokedex entry, what does it say specifically? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Gender unknown. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, it trusts its partner. Um, the trust in its partner awakens it. The Pokemon is capable of changing type as a flexible battle. Although its name was Type Null at first, the boy who evolved it in this form gave it a name by which it is now known. So Gladian names them. 
This is the form once it awakes and evolves, freed from the heavy mask, its speed is greatly increased. Though the bond formed with its trainer, it will be strengthened and is able to destroy its controlled mask. Yeah, so the mask is like supposed to control it. Oh, okay. What does it say about type null specifically? Type null. The heavy mask it wears uh, suppresses its uh, capabilities. This Pokemon has some hidden special power. Due to the danger that the synthetic Pokemon may go on a rampage, it wears a controlled mask to restrain its power. A Pokemon weapon developed for a specific message, um, mission. It went berserk during an experiment, but it was cryogenically frozen. Oh, that's terrible. But yeah, it's a whole experiment gone wrong. I feel so terrible for that. Oh my god. The poor <laughs> I love how you were like, this thing's ugly, and then like I told the backstory, and you're like, baby. Oh. All I want to do is not a happy it. Yep. All it deserves is love and affection, the poor thing. You're gonna go to the Aoife Foundation and <laughs> cause them. I'm gonna wreck gonna their shit up, man. Kids. Yeah, you're gonna go up to lose some mean and fight her. Yeah, fight her in a Denny's parking lot. Jesus you're Christ. You're like, you are a bad mother, you are a bad boss. Yeah, you're you about everything, man. Get there. You're about everything. I mean, you're basically the, the grandmother woman that yeah. takes care of Lily and her brother. Honestly, man, I, Lily deserves a better female role model than this Lucy. And this Lucifer. woman. <laughs> like, honestly, what are you doing to that poor little girl teaching her all these bad things? Yep. <clears throat> Let's see. He, he, he almost looks, like, them. mechanical in some parts, like... Yeah, I think that's the point, is entirely artificial. Bits Aww. and pieces and things like that. The poor baby. He just needs nothing but love. Basically, yeah, that's how he evolves, is through friendship, I believe. Because so yeah, the bond with its trainer is what finally frees it from the mask without it going on a rampage. This thing just needs like a warm cup of cocoa and a nap. <laughs> and a nap. I feel kind of bad for doing kind of like a jokey, um, like a jokey thing right now. <laughs> jokey thing right now. Yeah, if you see this thing, like, right now as it is in its current form, you would be like, like, Grace, what the fuck? <laughs> as um, in, like, where are you taking this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, someone earlier asked if, like, if Ash was joining or something, or like, why he wasn't here, and I'm like, it's a girl's night. It's girl's night. Ash can't come. Y'all know he's not a girl. Him all the time. At least I hope y'all know he's not a girl. No misgendering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 do. 
Oh yeah, I hey guys, um... I hope everyone's doing well. Welcome, is student. Yes, yes. And um You're doing good. I definitely am very happy that um I got back from the female all okay. I yep. um it's always good. Yeah. I did not get um pulled over once. I'm a fantastic driver. <laughs> I have yet to because I have not learnt to drive yet. That's okay. I have a driver's license from earlier this year, but I have not driven yet. Oh, well, good luck. It's honestly not that cracked up. It's um kind of boring, if I'm being honest. I let Seth Aroni drive us around whenever um whenever we go out because I really don't appreciate it. <laughs> it's not my favorite thing. I appreciate. The car, the, no, the first car didn't happen. We're not talking about big blue in the sky right now. It didn't happen. So you can't prove it. <laughs> um, what if I... Does his little, like, head crest look like an eagle to you? A little bit. Yeah, I see what you mean. Like, the beak and the, the head. Yeah. Very funny looking feet. Yeah. His feet are like real messed up, if I'm being honest. <laughs> no, actually, loud. He'll just talk about gremlins. He'll go on a Pokemon rant. Oh yeah. That I have, that I encouraged. Yeah. Wait, would he? What? I feel like if he made a like a gremlin style Pokemon, he'd probably try to make it like. I mean, I think his favorite is like Sableye, and he said that it's basically because it is a gremlin. Yeah. I was just thinking of like how he would like do the evolution, you know, because he definitely uh, his his strengths do not lie in um what's the word in baby Pokemon. So I would like think oh uh, like the cute Pokemon kind of thing. Yeah, he really doesn't like cute Pokemon. <laughs> Although he will <laughs> say he will say up and down. Oh, Sableye is cute. Sableye is a cute Pokemon. It's like okay um. He's cute in a in a. He's in a an ugly way. cute. He's an ugly cute. <laughs> he's an ugly cute. He's a um, he's like a like he's a. He's a special pug. one. <laughs> like I would not call him particularly adorable, but you know, to each their own. <laughs> each their own. Okay, um, wait, I think I can make that look better. <laughs> um, like that, and like that. Uh oh, children are screaming in the outfield again. Outfield? Yeah, there's a field out behind my house, and I hear children screaming. Oh, yeah. I do as well yeah. in my neighborhood. Uh, that's also because I think there's a campground or like a motel area. So, uh, and the um, playground is like right over my fence. Okay. Children scream. Um, yeah, children scream all the time. Have you met children? <laughs> Have you? <laughs> Have you ever been a child? <laughs> Oh, but yeah, no, Mortal, you're absolutely right. I think Gizmo would be a perfect prankster Pokemon. Oh my god, now that's all I can oh, think yeah. of. Like, just doing shitty pranks. Like, um, like I feel like he would probably be friends with um Jigglypuff. He's, yeah, like, the knowing Gremlins lore, the basic that I know of it, they definitely are a Pokemon that have a very unique way of ev doing evolution. Like, to evolve it from Gizmo to, like, a Gremlin Gremlin. Mm -hmm. You gotta, like, feed it at midnight or something. Yeah. 
I'm sure they'd freak out players if they didn't know, because I know there are some people who go into a Pokemon game blind in terms of like not knowing how certain things evolved. Imagine just feeding your Pokemon at a specific time of day and then it just turns into something else completely. Yeah, that would be honestly wild to me. <laughs> you that reminds me practice. how um, NK evolution, the way you evolve NK is that you have to um, turn your like, DS screen upside down and then pet it. Oh. Or something. That's and then cool. it turns into Malamar. I like that. I like that. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's get rid of this. And this. I'm still working on this sketch. Are you almost done with your sketch? <laughs> Slash outline. Uh... I'm still working on the sketch, just because okay, I've made it a little bit more complicated than I should have. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> Which is funny, because it's like, majority of the design is coming from the uh, Savala, because he's more complicated, but it's like, I'm taking a lot of creative liberties here. Yeah. I wonder if... Let's see. There we go. Um... Wait, who's trying to talk to me right now? Oh, no. I don't need to talk to them. Straight up can't do it. You <laughs> used Ru Rui guys and Sword, and Ooh. you weren't going to use Yam. Thank Yam. you, Ember, for subscribing. Oh, thanks. I'm not used to hearing this sound. <laughs> you deserve it. You need it. Yay. Yeah. Okay, um, <clears throat> uh-oh, there we go, okay, let's see, um, I haven't been in stream in a while, when did you unlock subs? I unlocked them last time I streamed, so the final, well, technically I unlocked them, uh, the stream before before, but mm. they were properly, uh, showcased in the previous stream. So I got them jury spooky scary kitchen mount. Yeah. So you can use subs, you can use bits, there's the channel point, things like that. People go wild. Yeah. You have to go wild for the moon. Wild. Woo! <laughs> oh. That scared uh -oh. the hell out of me. <laughs> oh, what happened? No, no, someone in chat said the so the sub sound scared them. Oh, as it should, as it should. As it should. Okay, there we go. And there we go. I'm curious, chat. What's your favorite Pokemon, chat? Ooh. I'm curious to know what people's favorites are. My favorite is Umbreon. Oh. <laughs> Very obvious. Mm. What about you? What's your favorite, Grace? Um, Eevee. <laughs> <laughs> Eevee and all We're the basic. evolutions. I'm. So we can't. We can't help it though. But you once. Yeah, it's good character design. It's so cute! They're just so good. You know, I gotta stick to my brand! Yeah. I can't help it. Reuniclus, Infernape. Oh. You're not terrified of sub sounds, what are you doing? Yamask. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. Oh. Reuniclus is good, I got a shiny one of those. Oh, that's there. Eevee used to be my favorite. Oh, damn. Reuniclus beat him out. Oh. Well, I can understand. Uh oh. Oops. That's okay. I can understand that, though, because mm. Eevee's not like. I, I think that Eevee was made to be a very cute Pokemon, but I don't think he was made to be like strictly someone's absolute like favorite. Like all time. 
Because it's just, it like... was particularly at first designed to be a gimmick, which was the whole, you know, evolution thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and then it became really popular. Yeah. So, you know, Pokemon had to merchandise the crap out of it. Because yeah. then you, because after uh, Red and uh, Red and Blue came out, they also had Pokemon Yellow, which had you start with a Pikachu and your rival had an Eevee, yeah. which is what Let's Go is now, actually. Oh. Because I'm pretty sure, um, like, I, I definitely think Eevee wasn't supposed to be, like, the main counterpart to, um, to uh, Pikachu. That was, I believe that's supposed to be my Meow, because, like, even their dex numbers are flipped and stuff. Oh, that's cute. Although, I can't imagine how Meow is, like, wait a minute. Oh, it's supposed to be, like, cat and mouse. Oh, oh! <laughs> that went right over my damn head, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um... I haven't seen I had, a lot of Pokemon, but I'll probably go with Greninja. Greninja's good. I had a funny idea, but now I don't. Now I'm not confident in it. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, um. Here, what if I just. Yeah. Copy. I'm almost done with the sketch so I can get to the line up. Nice, nice. Okay, uh... Are you drawing a mechanical type novel? So we're doing Pokemon fusions. I and what, how we are doing it, Ember, is essentially we both roll a poke like one Pokemon, mm -hmm. and then we have to make our own sort of different ideas of how we would take the fusion. So Grace rolled Cling Clang, no Cling, just Cling, I forget. Uh -huh. And then I rolled Savali, so we're fusing them, and I'm I'm taking it at a very lore based angle, and we're keeping it a secret from each other as well. Yeah. We want to see what we want to compare at the end. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I don't want to do this, but I think I have to. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Um. I hate this. I hate this so much. Oh my god. You good? Yeah, I'm okay. I just think, you remember how like Cursed Fusions, I didn't really do something that was like quite, Cursed. yeah, I did something kind of cute really. Um, yeah, now you're doing something cursed? Yeah, this looks very cursed. This does not look, <laughs> this does not look, this ain't kosher, man. How far along are you? Um, I think I'm going to keep it a, uh. I think I'm gonna keep it a um <laughs> Oh no. Good. Um how do I explain my how do I explain myself? How do I how do I make I'll myself explain not sound myself. Yeah. Dude, honestly man, I oh okay, um so I'm I'm taking it in a very funny direction because the lore just made me sad. <laughs> and, okay. Um, I'm unfortunately very much regretting that choice, the choices I've made, the consequences no. of my actions. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really regretting them right now. So, um, so there's that. <laughs> oh no. It'd be that way. Yeah, yeah, it do, it really do. Okay, um, okay, uh. Just to save time, I'm just gonna take my sketch layer and polish it up. Okay. 
Honestly, yeah, I'm probably going to just do that too. This is a Pokemon. This is a curse. This, this is, is a Pokemon. This is pain. I don't know what you're talking about, man. This ain't. <laughs> this is pain. This is a nightmare. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Um. <clears throat> you know, maybe, maybe oh, they'll all be the, okay. What's the fusion name? I just realized. Oh. Silk Clank. Silk Clank. Silk Clank. Clank Valley. I think. Hello, Eldric Queen. Hi, we are doing Pokemon fusions. We are doing abominations. Okay, that's. Pro I was going to say maybe you, but I zoomed down. I'm like, yeah, actually. I, I'll I'll rephrase my statement until I know for certain what yours looks like. I am making and an abomination. Kind of abomination. I mean, the lore implications of mine are. Okay. Okay. I feel a little bit better in my in my um cleaning in my up decisions. the sketch and yeah. coloring them is how I did the uh, AD aliens in three months <clears throat> at saved me so much time. I know, like I know I could probably save so much time if I just did the sketch layer, but like I have a thing with my art style being very polished looking is the best I could say it. I very I like it looking very clean, but that takes time. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I hate this so much. This poor thing just wants to die. I'm certain. I hate this so much. He's out here struggling. Oh god. Okay. Okay. I think. Okay. Oh. I really don't like this. I'm glad that my art style is very sketchy because I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to work on this. Um too long. This poor thing. It looks so cursed. Crystal, oh my god. Hi, queen! What's my impression of Ignis's driving skills? He seems like a menace on the road. Um, he's a menace everywhere, so that's a good assessment. Um, I would say that he's probably the best driver out of everyone in my friend group. Like, um, my first car was totaled. Um, my other friend oh my has totaled, has been, no, has not totaled. He's only totaled two cars, but he's been in four car accidents. So he's not like, he's not a good, um, he's not a good, what's the word? Where it's like, um, like, oh, you're my, oh, good luck. He's not a good luck charm by any sense of the imagination. Um, let's see. Uh, Ash doesn't drive at all. So I can't Ash imagine that he would be good at driving. But that's just me being, you know, presumptuous. I mean, in one video he did with Kuro when he was visiting, that he literally said, this is why I don't drive when they were at the arcade and showed that he somehow got his car and the game stuck on a wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I believe it. That seems like that's something he would do. <laughs> but yeah, I, um... I just wanted to say... Oh, thank you, man. Thanks. I'm glad you came along, partner. Like what did Ember do? <laughs> Ember, um, Ember got a cookie, which means I, th I think Ember followed. I think that's. I should have probably written these down. <laughs> what each one means means means, but I didn't. Well, your your um think about it. your uh, stream manager thing should say what that means. Oh, I would. Let me check. Oh, where did my stream manager go? I have like so many tabs open. It vanished. <laughs> it's gone. It's in the ether. Thank you, Amber. You only have to. That's okay, Amber. You don't have to. Never feel like you need to buy anything from me. I am grandma. This is not a job for me. This is this is a passion. So so. Like I'm just... this is really just a tip, if anything. Like yeah. if people want to support. Yeah, yeah. It's you not don't... like I'm in desperate need of money. 
Yeah. It's a nice, because it's like, I, I understand that, like, people like to show gratitude to artists, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it's like they can't always do it in, in the certain ways, and I know money is, like, one way, so if I can give people that opportunity, fair enough. It's something I do. Yeah. Yeah, never feel like you have to do that. Just the fact that you followed me is wonderful enough. That means that, like, maybe we get to hang out more, which is fun. I love yeah. getting to talk to new people. I have slowly brought myself out of my shell. Uh-oh, oops. You good? Yeah, okay. I just, I keep forgetting which uh, way the canvas turns. Because <laughs> the zoom button is, like, right next to the, um to the turn button, uh-oh, uh and so I, <laughs> so I keep getting them mixed up a little bit, and I would feel bad about it, but like, people know, people are not here for, um, for quality entertainment, they're here, they're for, here for a good time. They know what you're all about. Yeah. Hmm. I was going to sub whenever you got subs on not to be feel, that's good to know, Ember. Mm -hmm. oh. And yeah, just to be clear to all my followers, you do not have to sub if you cannot. Like, if you need the money, keep it. Please this is only it. if you want to and you can. Or Why else. is it a man? I don't know. I can. Should I give it boobs? I feel like that would make it even what was worse. This? I don't know. What is it? Wait. Wait, did someone ask if it's a man? Yeah. And I was like, I mean, I guess. I ha it's I'm not genderless. Really... Should I... I, I... No? I don't know. I, d I don't understand. I don't know. It's a Pokemon? Although I will be honest, it does. I like... it, I, I'm drawing a humanoid version, because I, I, I figured I might as well go full uh... curse. I mean, in the actual Pokedex stuff, it is genderless. Yeah. It's non-binary, so maybe I'll need to make it more... Non-binary, baby. Should I make it more obvious? Like it's I almost... mean, non-binary people can look how they want. They don't even have to look like a mix of the genders or anything like that. Well, I will fix this one part because it is kind of weirding me out that, like, his fur is, like, awkwardly messing up this silhouette that I've got going on. I'm trying to make the silhouette look good, but dude... <laughs> dude... <laughs> I want to share the love. You can share the love through other means that is not money. Yeah, yeah. You can, um... Leave a comment. Yeah, yeah. Crystal has, um, other projects that she does. Like, she does editing stuff for, um, the ink tank sometimes, and she does a lot of her own I'm individual the visual projects. Artist. She's, like, super, super great at them. Uh-oh. This is Crystal. She likes a she like Ashikara projects expand until it takes a year to finish. In fairness, I'm one person. They have a whole team. <laughs> yeah. If you start giving it, uh my lovely moon black, then we're gonna have some problems here. Fight me in a Denny's. That was mortal, by the way. Oh, mortal! Mortal can fight me in a Denny's and an IHOP. I'll make sure to feed <laughs> you after. Uh oh. I'll beat you up, but I'll make sure you're well fed too. Yeah, I I believe in tough love. You gotta you gotta you gotta make sure that <laughs> that they're properly fed after you give them the what for. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna give him a double chin. <laughs> we don't have either of those. It sounds here. like you're going way more cursed than I'm expecting. Um. Maybe. <laughs> I I had to, I, I thought about like saying, oh no, not even probably not. Not even kitchen mump anymore, and now you're like, yeah, I yeah, I don't, I don't think I can um, I don't think I can, I don't think I can come back from this. <laughs> I don't think I'll I can come back it. from this. I don't think there's a way to not make it cursed once I've. Once I've put it out in the universe that this is like... Your screenshots already taken. 
screenshots have been taken. Screenshots <laughs> have been taken. Yeah. Now I'm gonna color it quickly. Oh yeah, I should probably start coloring. Um Unless it's just gonna be grays and blacks given yeah. their colorization. Yeah, it should be pretty easy. I um let's see, have I done every oh I forgot the to thicken this one part. Okay. He a thick boy. Thick. Yeah, I figured if I make the the sketch just even more rough, it just would lend better <laughs> to what I'm trying to do here. There you go. Okay. Um. Uh oh. Here's a comment. You're my favorite artist. Is that good? Oh, thank you, Darky. Darky. I will cherish that. Darky is a sweetheart. I'm glad there's. Oh, you know, I love all of the fan art Darky gives me. It's all in my folder, my fan mm -hmm. art folder. I love it all. Mm. Okay, I think. I think I'm ready. Okay. Okay, so. Sil Clink. No, Silk Link. Silk Link. Silk Link. <laughs> Silk Link. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, um... Landed of Zelda. Well, good thing that they both have basically the same color scheme, so that's kind of simple. Yeah, I mean, mostly just grays. Easy, just clone yourself, if only. Wait, I think I... Oh my god, I'm so stupid. That's not the color I need. I need, um... You good? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just making silly mistakes. I'm like, gotta go fast, gotta go fast. And being then I an immediately artist. make a bad choice. Gotta go fast! <laughs> yeah, we're all secretly just, like, living out our, like, Sonic OC dreams right now. The Sonic fanfiction. Yeah. <laughs> If you could clone yourself, do you think that you would have to eventually murder your clone because they would get too um, uppity? Or do you think that you would survive with your clone? Like in a, in a symbiotic I think my clone would just get, like, if I, like, knowing myself, it would never boil down to murder unless something really went wrong. Right? Like, I, I was don't talking know how, to Ignis and he was I, like, oh, I, I gotta murder mine. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I guess eventually I would probably just see them as family like it's basically the equivalent of having a slim yeah right ignis was all for was like, even if it's like the same slash, person, oh. and i think over time eventually we'd grow to be different people in some variety because we'd have different experiences mm -hmm. i'd probably but would it be fun to fight yourself to the death no i'm yeah. a coward i don't think fighting to the death is is necessary I I know my weakness level. I'd get I'd get like destroyed. I may have picked fights on the school playground, but I'm not fighting myself. <laughs> I just feel bad for myself because I already do. Yeah, I feel that man. Like I again, I think it would just end up feeling more like twins of anything, like family members. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you're you're an easy person to get along with, you know. Yeah. Did I ever tell you about Evie winning a regional event? It was a bit competitive. Po what mortal? Tell me more. My favorite. Oh, is this the? I think I might know what he's talking about. They won a regional competition. Did they get to go to state after? Sorry, that's a that's a joke. <laughs> Here in here in the states, if you they read, if you win regionals, you get to go on to to state. It's like a big thing. Yeah, I mean we've got sort of like competitions like that, but yeah, y'all probably call them like. We province. don't call them that. I'm uh, I don't know. I think it just depends from school to school, really. Hmm. The more you know. The more you know. <laughs> okay. Um. Actually, now I'm just remembering a, a situation that my brother went through that I feel so bad for to this day. But uh, he was part of a um, 
I, I imagine this would probably annoy you actually. Uh, he did a like a a, a speech competition, oh. and uh, they went to a uh, there was a specific school that um, held the competition, mm -hmm. and they won because they got to use the school's PowerPoint system, and the other kids who came didn't know that that was a possibility. That's favoritism. That is blatant favoritism. Jail. I felt so bad for my brother. Absolute charlatans. The lot of them. <sighs> Nepotism at its finest. Literally. Wild. Absolutely wild. Absolute scoundrels. Jeez Louise. The, the clone thing. I, I feel like yeah, if I had a clone, I guess the benefit would be that we'd be able to do projects together. Because we'd both have the same story ideas and can bounce off of each other. Yeah, you'd have a great time getting to like work with your own clone, probably. Yeah. So I get the feeling there's going to be a lot of like it's gonna sound dark, but like a lot of like inner therapy going on. Oh, a lot of therapy going on? Yeah, like if they've got the same problems as me, that'd uh, be very complicated. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. I could see that. I'd probably I'd probably try to date mine. Date you. I, I need, I need, um, I have to practice self-love, you know? Or would that be, wait, would that be gross? Uh, I mean, that is a question, because it is basically dating your twin in some variety. Is dating your clone the same as dating a sibling? Because that would be, that would be kind of... Well, your genetics are the same. They're, like, identical. Yeah. So, like... With that, with that, oh wow, mortal. Okay, so in 2018, Evie had an exclusive Z movie in which it gave a niche competitive in, comp in competition, which gave itself two times the boost. It was a huge thing for a lot of Mon, so other players were trying to do well with it all year, and then they won with, um, in the beninging. And one with being, I think, a baton pass, a baton pass to a Pokemon like Crocodile, who used the boost and swoop and sweep the competition. That, that's a, that sounds a lot more exciting than I was thinking about it. Honestly, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll I know there's honest. crazy stuff that happens in like Pokemon competitions. Yeah. I feel I feel kind of bad now. At first, when you said that um, the Eevee like won a competition, I was like, oh, so it was like a like a fan made like um like like some kind of like quiz game thing that people posted online. Quiz but like, game. no, it was like a real it was like a real thing. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. Okay. Um. What else? I guess I need like a bike. I'm trying to make- Actually, genius thought, if I had a clo clone, I'd mess with people and make them think I can teleport by literally being in two places at once. <laughs> I think it'd be funny to mess with people in the sense of being like, oh yeah, I've had a twin this entire time and just never told you about them. Yeah, no, they, they just secretly hate you. <laughs> That's why you never see them. They were- they were out of the country. Yeah. Just gonna paint this. I think I'm almost done too. I like how mine turned out. Yeah, I think mine. Mine, I will survive. The um. <laughs> Like, I do wish I could do more with Kling, but he's like, there's very little I could actually do with him. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's mostly Savali. But I think I've incorporated it well enough. I should be done pretty soon. I'm just coloring up some big swatches of the body right now. I'm just doing some basic shading. Oh, I'm probably going to leave it black color. I don't think I'll have time for any shading. <laughs> That's I, okay. I, mine looks ugly if I leave it alone. I mm -hmm. want it to look a little bit more presentable. That's okay. I'm leaning into the ugly right now. He you killed your own client, would you absorb their power and go strong or be thrown in jail? Probably thrown in jail. Oh, definitely. I don't know what the laws would be. It'd be like, again, yeah, I think that's basically just murdering your twin. Yeah. Maybe all twins are just people who've successfully cloned themselves. Honestly, if my... Because I have two friends that are... Um, two best friends and they're clones. And if they... Or not clones. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my theory is correct. Literally just outed them. Like, oh yeah, no, they're clones. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but yeah, they're twins, and if they've been successfully pulling the wool over my eyes for this many years at this point, I will be so peeved at them. Like, how dare you, man? Honestly, I'd just be impressed. Oh my god, I just remembered a kindergarten story I had regarding twins. So, this was from my mom's perspective, because I was really young, I don't really remember this, but uh, when I went to kindergarten, uh, on my first day, I came home. Mum, of course, asked how it was, and I was like, oh, it was really good. I met a friend, her name's Shamelia. And mum was really confused at first, because you're like, Shamelia's not a name I've ever heard before, but I guess it's, like, probably, like, not an English name or something exotic. Mm -hmm. She was, like, just fine with it. And I'd constantly talk about Shamelia. And then one day, she gets to meet Shamelia. Um, turns out Shamelia is a pair of twin girls. And I've just combined their names, Charlotte and Amelia. Oh my god. Oh, that's so cute. It sounds like I was talking about two people. There are a lot of things I said as a kid that my mom still repeats to me to this day. Honestly, as she should. Man. Like, um, that's so perfect. Like, I went to a Catholic school, mm -hmm. and then one day during Easter, Mum asked me, like, so what's Easter about? And apparently, my response was, when the bunny brings chocolate eggs to baby Jesus. <laughs> I was obviously okay. not paying attention. <laughs> Obviously not, but at the same time, your 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 version of events makes so much more narrative sense that I kind of want to just believe them anyway. So they're can they're canon for me now. <laughs> oh man, was it even about baby Jesus? That's Christmas. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure Jesus was born around Easter anytime, so it's fine. He was born at, um, in December. He like he definitely would have been a baby around like April still, but mm. Easter's more about the time he died essentially. Okay. I want to say I did um, I remember at one point I did like a deep research on like the different holidays and because I was curious why certain things came about. Easter was quite weird, trying to figure out why certain things were there, like, what's with the eggs, what's with the Easter bunny. That was a rabbit hole. <laughs> oh, that's the, that's the timer, so let me check. Let me check. Are we having, are we having an ad soon? I don't know. We'll figure it out, but okay. I think... No, mortal, you have no idea. Ready, watch. Watch. <laughs> Don't tell anything. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Hey, chat, do you guys have any dumb stories about you being a kid saying something like what I did? Basically just saying really funny things as a kid and fully believing it as well. I know my brother, my oldest brother, said that apparently as a kid he convinced me that dragons were once real 
they were like dinosaurs, but they went extinct. <laughs> and I was sad. I got Disneyland closed down for a few hours. Ember, what did you do? What? Ember! I'm guessing you got lost, maybe? The park had to, like, close down. That... That is wild, and I love that. That's so freaking oh, funny. Sorry. My mom was changing me, turned away for like 10 seconds, and I apparently just vanished, vanished for 10 hours. Oh, yeah. You sound like my brother. He, he was a wanderer as a kid. Honestly, getting lost in a wandering I, space is kind of fun, though. I wasn't a wanderer, but I did have instances where I wandered, like the time that I got lost from preschool and wandered into town. Had a leash as a kid. Yeah, you seem like a leash kid. <laughs> oh my god, people actually did that? Oh, leash kid. L parenting man. If I if I have to have a leash for my kid because I can't I mean, control them. To be them. fair, if you do have a wander. Like, if you've got a wandering kid, they will wander. Mm -hmm. Like kids can go far if you're not paying attention. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I guess you're right. I guess I guess you're right. Okay, I think. <laughs> oh my god. I'm finishing up. Yeah. I should be in a second. I just want to add some shine to it. How do I... Kids are OP, man. Chaos incarnate. Yeah. How do I? I need. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I just I'm trying to figure out how to do something. I want to do something so bad. Okay. Um. Retrieving fonts. I don't. I I just want to type. Okay. Okay. How do I make it bold? Bold. Make it. What bigger. your text? Uh oh, that's too big. That's too big. That's too big. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is this scarier than anything? This is scarier than anything I made on Halloween. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, we know the secret. You gotta not be in a Halloween mood to make spooky stuff. Apparently. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. How do I move an entire thing? Wait, help. Control move? Control all? Control move? It's not letting me move. You good? Oh wait, I'm so stupid. I can just do this. <laughs> okay. Okay, um. And then I'll do 14 and then write the same thing. And then text color black and click OK. Okay, and then. Oh, wait, I didn't think this through. I think I will do all my tech stuff afterwards, like I did on the Halloween stream. But I am ready. Yeah, I think whenever. I'm going to have to do that because this isn't working the way I want it to. But. Actually, let me just get <clears throat> this real quick. This is so cursed, man. Yeah. Be British during Halloween next year. We get one aisle of Faces Act stuff and then boom, Christmas. Oh my god. Christmas is music nice. is already playing right now in... <laughs> I've been seeing so many memes about the Mar Mara Carey coming out of the ice cube. Dude, she, apparently she's, um... Apparently she actually already has, like, a Christmas tree up and everything. And I'm just like, girl, you're playing into it too strong. Man. I mean, if you can't beat them, join them. Yeah, but still... I'm a little disappointed. You okay. ready to share? I am. I am. This is so good. Here is okay. mine. I'll go first. Here is Silk Link. Um, 
Oh my god. I love it so much. It's so good, man. This is my mine. idea was supposed to be like <laughs> Discord stopped working. Yours on my stream. This is what she drew. <laughs> so, guys, just to just to show you the level of beauty, let me let me make my canvas big enough for y'all to see this, cause it's gorgeous. I love it so much. Okay. <sighs> the two heads. It's so gorgeous. Look at that! Look at this beautiful creature! And then look what I did to it. <laughs> what exactly was your thought yeah. process behind this piece? <laughs> so I was going for the angle of, like, so you know how uh, Cell Valley was, like, artificially created? My idea was that since it failed, they made, like, a second one, but this one's entirely mechanical so that they could have full control over it. It's haunting and gorgeous. I love it so much. I love, oh, I especially love how, how like, it's got like parts to it that are like definitely attached through like pure energy alone. It's just so gorgeous, you guys. Yeah. Like, just look at this design. It's just so good. <laughs> and then this is what I did. <laughs> Oh, I'm going for an ad, apparently. <laughs> I've got an ad. Dang it, I tried to... I've got an ad. ad. No, I've got an ad. Oh, okay. Okay. Whew. Tell me the thought process behind yours. Yeah. Um. So I saw the funky faces on Clink and was like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if I had, like, two heads? <laughs> what TikTok audio? Because there's a bunch of TikTok audios. You're going to have to be specific, mortal. <laughs> look at all them chickens. Oh, look at all. But this is the... I'm so, I, I, I don't know. My my thought process was like, oh, what if two heads and then the derpy face? And then... The two heads. And then I decided to put a meme in it, too. Because, like, why not? I'm already... I'm already I do like how you kind of incorporated, like, the... the um, Like, the fur, how it ends off the same as the gear. I like them together so much. I kind of need them to be in my life. I'm going to make yours just a tad bit bigger. These were two experiments gone wrong. Yeah. <laughs> For different reasons. Mm -hmm. This is what I wanted, the pastels, and this is what I got. Oh my gosh. I you want to re-roll again? I, I do. I really do. I'm just fixing up the we background. We need to move on from this pair. Um, maybe we should move on. Maybe. For, for, <laughs> for our, oh crap. For our, um, for our sanity, we should probably move on. Control save. Yep. Um, no. PNG in fan art. Um... Fusion Friday one save or wait I should have saved it as something different I'll open that up later and change it um okay I'll let you spin first okay we got core the knives oh okay I love core the knife uh oh how come I'm not Image okay. permit chat. Thank you. Yay! Big you metal too. bird, and your one? And mine is. Drum roll. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. It is a. <laughs> what is this thing? Ex expl exploud. Ex Ex uh, exploud, the loud one? Um, yes. Yes. Mr. Boombox himself. X loud images. I need one 
where he's got Sarah. Cloud. Oh. Copy. So a gin free and a gin eight Pokemon. Mm -hmm. This is going to be interesting. Here, I'm putting it in chat. There we go. There's the boy. Yeah. The one that screams. Yeah, so we've got a bird and a screamer. Honestly, how perfect. I mean, knowing birds. Knowing I birds. I look at my ones. <laughs> it's going to be more cursed. Combined them, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, I... I'm not sure how this is going to go, if I'm being honest. I mean, I have an idea. Mm-hmm. Let's see. <sighs> yes, this will work perfectly. Another metal one, yeah. yeah. We're getting metal Pokemon today. Metal Pokemon. Which, honestly, very on brand. Very on brand. All right, let's get like um, like that, like that. Click. Mm. Oh. They're very similar color schemes too. If I know, if now that I'm looking at them. Kind of. It's they're both like one's more of a pale purple blue, like periwinkle kind of, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the other one's like a darker. Indigo, yeah. They both have red eyes as well. Yeah. I know exactly where I'm taking this. Hmm. Let's do... I like that. That's gonna look good. That's gonna look good. Um, hmm, how should I? <laughs> You're still about to draw her birds, but middle if only. Yeah, yeah. Um, oops, okay. I have a good idea. I think I've got you got idea. ideas. I've got I've got one idea and I'm gonna go for it and just I, I'm not someone who really like does different iterations. I just kinda like deal with it and if I if it's not working out, just be like, oh too late to back out. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. This is my life now. No Honestly, regrets. I only really do that on streams because I, I don't want to waste time or else. Right? I feel like I feel like your first idea, um, when it comes to streams at least, should should be very weird <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um But like this bird's kinda weird already anyway. Like how am I supposed to What cool of a night? Yeah. Like my dude. You've got some weird. You got some weird style going on. He's British, that's why. <laughs> He's British. He's the taxi driver. Yeah, I mean, if you're willing to to um to rag on your own country that much, far be it from me to tell you no. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll just go with that. That's fine. Okay. Copy paste. Put. Okay. Um. Um. He's got like a crown on his head, which is kind of cute, but I don't really. I don't think I'm. I don't what? Think ex I'm ex loud. No, but like, so does the crow. Like, he's got like. Like his like upper face. Oh uh, yeah. Well, he's he's got a knight helmet on. He's a knight. Oh my god. What? I just got it. I just thought he was like. What? 
I just thought he was like a weird metal bird. His name's I Calvinite. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I've How? never seen it written out. I've never seen it written out. I thought it was like a play on the, like the nighttime. Because <laughs> he's like a big black bird, and I just I'm sorry. I'm he's sorry. Calvinite. I I've never seen it written down. Oh, by the name alone. We're just gonna move past. We're gonna move past. It didn't happen. Nobody clipped. Nobody shipped. We're good. Someone's gonna clip now. No one's gonna clip now. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> well, you say it, the more it's gonna happen. It's not. It's not. I don't have clippers in my in my grandkids. My grandkids aren't really aren't really the clipping clippers. variety. You say that now, the more you keep talking about it. Well, I mean... <clears throat> Sir Fetched is a knight as well, Grace. Sir Fetched? Wait, really? Let me look. Let me take a look at that man. Yeah, he's got like a sword and a shield. Sir Fetched... Pokemon... Images... Oh, I thought he was just, like, obsessed with vegetables. I mean, I guess I can... Okay, now that I'm seeing some fan art, I guess I can... Yeah. Like, there's one of him, like, sword fighting. Because, like, I saw... I mean, the way he evolves is via sword fighting. Yeah, I saw the the brown one, and it just looked like a guy kind of, like, obsessed with vegetables, so... In oh, my... the Galarian one. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's basically just far-fetched again. Hmm. Okay, I've got a basic outline. <laughs> how I'm doing this. Oh my god. This is it's so gonna look great. so ugly. This is gonna Gosh. look so great, you mean. <laughs> I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> I am telling only truth. This is gonna be perfect. Oh my god. I mean, I, I think my idea is gonna work, but... Oh, I don't know. It's an interesting combination. Oh yeah, for sure. A very cursed combination. Yes. Yeah. This dude. This More cursed dude. than the last one. At least there was some kind of artificial theme going on. Yeah, this guy's just freaking weird. <laughs> I know. Oh, man. That's why I love how so far I've been getting very edgy, cool Pokemon. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. And then you out here with the, the weirdo gang. Honestly, you have no idea. I think it's just gonna be weirdo thing <laughs> all around today. <laughs> Grandma and her weirdos. <clears throat> I mean, I kind of have to go with it, cause like, dude, have you seen this guy? Like, <laughs> he can't not be guy. weird. Like. It's impossible, man. Like, how am I supposed to make this cool looking? I mean, maybe if I thought for like more than five seconds, but I, I can't. This is just too. I mean, I had an immediate idea, but that was mostly on like just the first combo idea that came to mind. Yeah, no, I'm immediate combo idea all around. This is just, this is her, this is my life. This is my life. This is. <laughs> this is happening. <laughs> this is so bad. Honestly, it's going better than last time. There's only one head. I mean, yeah, yeah. I can't just like keep sticking multiple heads on it, heads and hoping on. that hoping that nobody notices. <laughs> Could you imagine? 
Oh yeah, no, I'm doing a great Pokemon. Keep adding hit zones. They both have red eyes to show the demons at local event, at least that was the few animes I've watched that have taught me. No, that's when you get the classic, like, hiding one eye, because the other eye is evil to represent your other personality or something. Mm -hmm. You just realized that was its mouth? What do you mean you just realized that? How could you not? I was literally tracing. Is it bad if you're tracing a Pokemon in a fusion competition? Because uh, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to mess up the mouth. I mean, I don't care personally if you're using it to just like figure it out. Like I've done that with Pokemon before. If I'm trying to figure out the anatomy, is like trace over it and like mm -hmm. adjust it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm a big like I'm really heavy into references, so sometimes I have to make sure that I'm not like actually just one for one tracing. Oh yeah, no, like being like I did this. Oh my Full god. Credit goes to me. Yeah. No thanks. <laughs> okay. Um yeah, I guess, oh my god, now that I'm looking at him, he really has, like, chest plate armor and everything. I'm so freaking silly. Yeah, he's a knight. He's a knight. I Especially saw. since, yep. Yeah. All the other evolutions are, like, the Brook of D and uh, Claw the Squire. Um, Those are all knight names. Yeah, I really should have. I really should have thought that one through, man. Uh, talking about the consequences of my actions, here they are, bitch, man. Oh no. Okay. Um. I don't know what his butt. Can I see? I'm gonna look him up with his arms out, cause I don't know what's his body. Okay. Cor. Cor. Corvinite Pokemon. His arms. Do you mean his wings? Oh, um, no. Yeah. It's gonna say arms for birds. What? Crystal, give me a number between zero to fifteen. I promise this isn't a setup. Ah, uh, six. So it looks like Okay. And then and I've made him very fat looking, but I like it. He deserves to be rotund. He needs it. How did they make this I mean like have the worst G Max form ever? <laughs> Which one? Oh, uh, uh, the Corviknight has a uh, Gynamax form. Oh! I don't think it's the worst. I think they're certainly probably worse ones, though then again, I probably have to look at them again. It's been a while. I never really cared for them. It's not like I really paid attention. I mean, to, I mean, at this point, I don't really pay attention to a lot of the gimmicks nowadays. Because, like, it's not like they're gonna stay knowing Pokemon. The only one I'm interested in still properly is, um, regional forms. Yeah. I like regional forms. I think they're pretty. Love them. I think they're very interesting. It's why I'm not a fan of, um, convergent evolution forms, because... They're basically just regional forms with pun names. Yeah, I I didn't. So I'll be honest with you, Ash spent, I think, I think about an hour trying to explain to me the difference between them, and I still looked at that man like I'm sorry, it ain't clicking. Like I think. Well, do you know what convergent evolution is in real life? 
Huh? There's a real life equivalent? Yeah, that's what it's based on. What's the real life equivalent? Is it like... Um... I'm assuming it's not the same as like a silhouette difference. <laughs> No, no, it's oh, it's like a whole scientific term. I need the Wikipedia. So it's basically when um, distant relatives and species have evolved similar uh, aspects, despite the fact that they're not close to one another. Oh. Best way I think I can put it. Okay. So if, like, uh, the wiki has this image of these two cactuses that um, uh, they're relatives, but they're very far from each other, but they've evolved to look very similar, despite the fact that they're not closely relative. That's basically what it is. And that's basically what the Pokemon one is, where it's like... They're, they're relatives, but they're so far from each other, but they're basically they're evolved to be very similar, even if that uh, shouldn't be possible in some ways. Oh. So, like... That make... I think that I think I get it. So it's kind of like how... Yeah, so, like, they're nowhere near each other, but they still somehow yeah. evolved into... Okay. Evolved to look similar. So I guess it's like um, their environments were similar enough that they just, you know... Or at least just something about it that makes them evolve into a similar pattern. So like how Toad Scroll looks like Toad, uh, looks like a Tentacruel, despite the fact that they're very um, far from each other in the relation line, essentially. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I I think I get that. I don't know why Ash is taking so long to explain that because that's so much easier. <laughs> I mean, I could be wrong, but I think that's it. Nah, you're probably right. Ash Ash is not known for his um. But that that's my problem is that that's an interesting idea. But my problem is is that they look just the same. They look like regional forms. I think it works better if like you do convergent. But they still look like their own thing, mm. but they just have a lot of similarities. It's like how um, the what is it the um, you know the the whale that was introduced in the newest gen, the big ice whale. Oh yeah. That one was said to like be a relative of um. A, a, like a distant relative of Welma, and I was like, that one I could see as a convergent evolution because they've got some similarities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't. I think I get that. Like on one hand, it's kind of like a gimmicky thing because they're like, oh, we gotta, yeah, gotta keep Pokemon fresh, gotta keep those guys. Well, it feels like they did it so that they could like name them because uh, regional forms just have the same name. It feels like they did it just so that they could have the pun name, essentially. Yeah, I feel like that's... That's a choice I wouldn't go with, but... It's a choice that I'm not in charge of, so I don't really care too much. <laughs> Uh-oh. That looks bad. You good? Yeah, I just, like, really janked up someone's foot, so I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, Cindere. Good job. My guy would be looking like a potato, Jesus. Oh, you picked one of the complicated ones to figure out. Do you have any rules for how Crystal Tins aliens look or are named? Do you, you already know that, Ember. Hmm? Pulti guy, uh, Pulchai guys, I think, does it well. I've seen Pulti guys, I think that one does it well. Where it like it looks like it's related, but it's different. But then again, that one looks like you could just have a thing where healthy guys has different homes based off different food. I mean, in all honesty, I probably wouldn't have gotten the convergent evolution just because it's like I think it's a little bit needlessly complicated in a Pokemon mm -hmm. game. That it's like, why? What's even the point of having it?
Yeah, I get you. Especially since, like, in the game, they introduced the, the Paradox Pokemon, and they got so little that it feels kind of weird. I mean, that was one of the big problems I had with the new game, was that it was like, they had a lot of interesting ideas, but they kind of spread themselves thin because mm -hmm, of it, and mm -hmm. thus nothing really got proper attention. Yeah, I feel like... I mean, the Paradox Pokemon only became, like, important in the last end of, end of the game, essentially. Mm hmm Yeah, I... I'm gonna be honest, man. I'm not a huge fan of the Pokemon um, that are later, and it's not really like a, like a, oh, I'm just i I'm a believer of, like, the oldie but goodies, but, like, it's more of a, yeah, I mean, they're okay, I just... I feel like they could be better. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I like remember when we better. did the, um, be more thought when out. Ash, me, Drizzen, and, uh, Jack did the, the ranking episode thing on his channel, on J uh, Ash's channel. Mm -hmm. Like, me and him were just like, I don't know, this gen just didn't have a lot of good hits. There are certainly Pokemon that, that I love, but, I don't know, I didn't vibe a lot with this gen. Mm -mm. And that's probably just me. Because I know I've seen a lot of people say that they really like it, which is good. I'm glad people can enjoy it. Uh -huh. It's just, it didn't work out for me. Yeah. I think that Pokemon's very versatile. And that's also probably that. because, like, I can't get over how ugly the game looks as well. Dude. Dude. That's like... <laughs> <laughs> You're okay, Ember, don't worry. Um, but yeah, I... Ugh, it's... <laughs> It's definitely not, like, like, I feel bad sometimes for not liking Pokemon from certain generations, but then I'm like, you know what, it's okay. It's it's a matter of taste, you know, it's not everybody opinion. has the same yes. taste. Well, the thing that gets to me a lot as well when, like, when I look at the animation, it's, it's not just me being like, this is ugly, but it's me being like, I can see that the artists tried their hardest to make this game look good, mm -hmm, but there mm -hmm. just wasn't enough time. And that's yeah. where it hurts. Because, like, I sympathize with the artist in that case. Yeah. Because, like, I could only imagine what it's like being, like, told to make this game, and, like, you put so much effort into it, but you're just not given the time to make your idea come to life, essentially. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, probably Pokemon's got the issue in that, like, they just don't slow down. Oh it's like every God. two years they got to have a game. Like, I feel like if they just took a breath and let some of their work breathe for, like, at least a couple weeks. Or, I mean, not weeks, you know what I mean. Like, um, like gave yeah. each game a full, like, a full year and didn't promote anything, didn't try to, like, like, I mean, of course you can promote, like, the... Um, like the selling of like toys and merchandise that goes with the game, you know, like of course, because that's yeah. like the whole point of Pokemon is to make money. So like, yeah, of course, <laughs> yep. but like, I mean, it's your... the biggest franchise in the world. Yeah, but like, you're absolutely right. Just like give everyone a chance to enjoy what you made. You spent all that time and effort for what to like immediately like make it obsolete practically with like. Yeah. And then it also brings up the issue of, like, it is fine to like Pokemon. Like, all the criticism I get does not mean I'm saying, I hate Pokemon, you should hate it too, how dare you if you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of, like, I've also seen the issue of people that, like, defend Game Freak to their dying breath. Yeah. And it's a little unhealthy. It's like, you gotta call out these people to act if you want it to get better, or else blindside especially since a lot of people like act like game freak is a small company yeah which like, is not true it is like one of the biggest yeah i don't know man i feel like when you start like going to bat for major corporations like at that point what are you doing with your mm. life man like take a take a step yeah. back i think you need to like go uh go like i don't know go for a walk Take yeah. yourself on a walk. Don't even worry about, like, any dogs that you've got. Like, take yourself on a walk. You need it. <laughs> take yourself on a walk. Hmm. 
it's it's messy especially since like god the the fans that will defend it get pretty hostile about it it's it's like that mentality that any form of criticism means it's wrong for me to like something so yeah. you have to attack the people that criticize it mm -hmm. like they they um they tie their self-worth into a franchise like um like i remember yeah. when like people got really obsessed with like harry potter to like an unhealthy degree when the movie oh yeah, yeah 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 and like they were like, you can't, you can't hate anything. Like you couldn't criticize anybody mm. about anything, and it was no. very, it was very toxic. There are still some people who are in like the, um, like the Star Wars, Star Trek, um, mm. Lord of the Rings, like all of the really big ones. There's still some people who are like very antagonistic if you say one thing, and it's like I'm not, I'm not hating on your childhood. I'm just saying I don't appreciate it. No. Like, I can, I can you can, criticize like, you can get, like, I mean, there are plenty of things that I love that I will full-heartedly will give valid criticism towards. Or I will basically be like, yeah, this this sucks, and I agree. I ain't disagreeing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, God, the amount of people that take it so personally is scary. Yeah. Yeah, they need... Like, the stuff I've witnessed in fandoms is unbelievable. Ooh, tell me about it, man. Oof. Ugh. Okay, um... Even my own comment section here and there, god. Yeah, I think I'm glad that I don't have, um, a lot of people, a lot like of a eyes looking at me. <laughs> I feel like I'd yeah. be a little too... I mean, I've, I've gotten used to it, and it just gets to a point where it's just kind of funny at this point that people get, like, this... It's like the kind of thing where I watch it and I'm just like, I have to imagine where I'd be in life to be at this point. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, you forget to provide reply on memories of you. Totally didn't send this in the wrong chat. Is it just mainly cooler colors and stuff? And uh, it's, I do kind of lean towards cooler colors, Ember, but like that's mostly just because it's what I prefer. It can be any color as long as I think it looks good. And the glitter is, yeah, the galaxy pattern is always supposed to be there. Mm. Uh, Nintendo is just cringe and force them to work harder and to make some decent high quality games on a literal potato. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Someone described my fusion as friend shape. Meanwhile, Nintendo lets the Zelda developers take their sweet time. We got six years between Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, and look how good it is! Exactly. Look how much good a thing can be if you give it time to breathe. Let it cook in the oven at Let least a little longer, and you'll get some real delicious products. Absolutely. It's like why I'm perfectly fine waiting for a lot of things that I'm into. Because like I know that the more I wait, the more it will probably be something really good. Of course, I'm not saying that they should, you know, milk it for ages, but, you know. Yeah. Give it its proper due diligence. Yep. I think this one's actually going to look good. <laughs> I actually quite like mine. I think yeah. I did good. Yeah, I think I think this is actually going to be a banger, man. Like, this is a... My one looks like an actual Pokemon. I... I don't think mine looks like a Pokemon, but at the same time, I'm having too much fun to care. <laughs> uh -oh. Maybe I gotta go up to the No. No? Oh, that's fine. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, hi! Let's see. Um, any chance we can get Ignis to play a particular game, Grace? Um, the goose game want to pro okay. want to know the premise um i think i've heard of the goose that's the one where you play as the goose and basically harass a tail oh yeah he would probably love that i'll bring it up to him although i'm, I'm not sure if he's about... even he might have played it yeah he might have actually i'll have to i'll have to look into that because if he has played it, why hasn't he played it with me? I'm pretty sure that's a co-op game. Just kidding. He doesn't have to play only games with me. Just most games. <laughs> well, good luck with that, Ember. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, we and we uh we are looking forward to your endeavors to coerce Ignis into playing. Uh, Apparently, I picked the most complicated alien. Like Leffert. No, he was. I think he was asking uh, for a, like when he was asking for the numbers in between. I was picking an alien. Apparently, I just happened to pick a very complicated one. Good. Zip it. Don't see anything, mortal. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. Nothing happened. Don't don't embarrass sure? me. In don't embarrass me in front of Moon, mortal. I swear to God. In front of the moon. I can do it fine on my own. I don't need your help, but please don't. <laughs> um, I played a game with Ignis, and it might have gone a little poorly. Um, but like, no, nothing too, nothing too bad happened. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm it was just a little, it, it was just normal, normal scuff, you know, normal, nor, normal scuff happened. Normal scuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Uh-oh. You know what? It's fine. It, it, it can look bad. It can look bad. I, my style is very sketchy anyway. Speaking of Zelda, which Link is your favorite? Gonna be honest, I don't really play Breath of the Wild, like, sorry, Link, like, Zelda stuff. The I've only ever watched my brother play um, Breath of the Wild and currently uh, Tears of the Kingdom, so that's the only one I can give a valid critique on. Oh, same. Like, I'm I know basic stuff, stuff about the franchise, but I don't really play it myself. I didn't grow up on it. Nice. Especially yes. right now because I am consumed with other game franchises. Yeah. I feel that. I only just started I'm playing fine. one game and I can't imagine having like multiple games at once oh, that option. I'm trying to finish. <laughs> I'm currently stuck playing World of Warcraft again after so long. Wow's a great game. Just what one? Wow, World of Warcraft. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's finally picking itself back up after what it went through with Battle of Azeroth and Shadowlands. Mm. And just as I started playing again, they announced the new expansion pack this morning coming out. Oh. Well, shoot, that's exciting. No, I. I grew up on World of Warcraft because my dad played it, and because um, I'm the youngest in my family, but my dad let me watch and play video games, and mm -hmm. um, I used to like sit on his chair and watch him play World of Warcraft, Aww. and then when I was old enough, he let me make characters on his account and play. That's so cute. Oh, forever love. I remember I have actually this distinct memory where he was on voice chat with his guild, I think, and they were doing the Easter event, and he let me uh, do the Easter event for him, with his guild, and he was like, hey guys, my, my daughter's gonna be on voice call, so be nice. And I was really young, so I had that very squeaky voice, and I was like, I wanna collect the eggs. That's so cute. And based on what I remember, they thought I was very adorable. Tiny Moon would be adorable, oh my god. <laughs> I would just put her in my pocket. <laughs> I did, well, I remember I did a drawing of my avatar with some facts, and I said when she was little, she was just a ball of wisp. Yeah, just a tiny little wisp. A little wisp. Oh, that's so cute. <gasps> My dad would just take me hunting. We didn't really do a lot of, um, uh, like, indoor bonding. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. On the plus side, I learned how to gut a fish real, uh, real early on, so I can fry up basically anything at this point. Oh, yeah. My, mm -hmm. um, aunt and uncle used to take me fishing. Like, I was, I'm very much a fisher girl. I haven't done it in years, 
just said I want to, but I got no one who can take me. Well, where I live, we live by bodies of water, so I can take you fishing. I live on an island. Oh, yeah, that's true. You could go fishing <laughs> if you wanted to. But you wouldn't get to go fishing with Grandma. No, I. It's fishing is an activity that I'd rather do with people. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like the the same feeling I get when like it's like I would I there are the movies in the cinema I want to go see but I don't ever if I can't go with someone just because going to the cinema is something I don't like doing alone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's also just not safe to go. Very on. much like a, take this. Not safe. How's, how's your one coming along? Um, pretty darn good. I'm on, I'm actually doing line art for this one because I, I feel like it's less cursed um, somehow. Oh, I've done Although... my line art. Yeah, I, I decided to go a more polished route. So yeah. I'm on the shading right now. Oh, nice. I don't think I'll get to shading still. <laughs> <laughs> but you on line art right now? Mm hmm. Okay. Means I can focus on shading for a bit. Mm -hmm. It's real good. I've always wanted to go fishing. Sounds kind of fun. It is quite fun. You do have to like be willing to do like you know the the down and like dirty stuff kind of things. Like you know like maybe having to kill the fish or gut it if you're going to do that route. But you can just set it free in some cases. Um, fish are very slimy, very and very strong if you're not careful. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I have so many, like, fishing stories gone wrong, man. Like, so many. <laughs> Last time I went fishing, um, there's, a, there's a town called Golden Bay, and mm. they have a, um, they have a little uh, site, a place called uh, Anatoki Farm, which is like, it's a salmon farm, and you and your family can go in and catch fish, and then afterwards you can have it be smoked and like cooked for you and then you can take it home. What? It was a lovely holiday treat to do. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. I'm glad you got to go do that. <laughs> oh. We never really went to places that would smoke fish for us. We always ended up going back to my um if like it wild was... river kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Although I will say, it I mean, was it was a good place if you didn't want to, if you wanted a more controlled environment, but you could still get the thrill of trying to catch the fish. Yeah. I shall definitely hit it up whenever I visit. <laughs> Take you guys down, Golden Bay. Yeah, I can't imagine Ignis trying to fish that that boy. <laughs> I know. For uh, someone who's so southern, he definitely ever comes ain't. down here. He wants to do the glowworm tunnels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what he's set on. Mm -hmm. Along with seeing if he can go to some places where there are kiwis. Mm. Gotta see the so kiwis I described to him, the kiwi. Yeah, I described to him, like, what kiwi pens are like at some of the, the zoos and resorts. And it's, like, it's a completely dark room. Um, with some minor, minor lighting, but it's really cool because you like you have to adjust to the darkness, and that uh, you can hear them moving around. And if you're lucky, you'll see them moving about in the dark. That is so cool. It's very magical. Man, New Zealand doesn't even sound real sometimes. <laughs> like hobbits live there, and. Let's see, what else is out there? Kiwis, which are honestly, they just sound so dang cute. Like, I can't imagine them being... Yeah, they're cute. Hmm. Our national bird, Pride and Joy. Pride and I love the, the this one mythology story about them to explain why they don't have wings. Oh, yeah? Or why they can't fly. So, essentially, it was... um. It was the god of nature 
was having issues because all the birds living on the ground and all, all the creatures and critters living on the ground were kind of destroying the forest because there was too many of them. No, in the trees. They were ruining the trees. That was it. Aww. And so he goes up to his brother, who's like the god of birds, and he's like, can any of your birds like live on the ground? So he went out to ask them and all the birds were like, no, being, being like, no, we like it too much up here. And then a little kiwi stepped forward and was like, I'll do it. I'll I'll lose my wings if it meant to make you happy. So he lost his wings, but the god was like, in repayment, this means you will be the most loved being in all of New Zealand. Oh my gosh, and he was. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> little Grandma, that was 100% not my fault. I was watching the whole stream, um, apart from a few moments, and that didn't happen. You know what? Yeah, you're right, mortal. That definitely didn't happen. Um. I definitely did not glitch into fire. And if I did, you couldn't prove it. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, Maori stories. Especially a lot that I grew up on in schools and stuff. No, I, I, oh, I'm such a fan of local mythology, man. I like, granted, yeah, some mythology can be weird. Like, um, let's see, what's I mean, a lot of mythology can be weird, but like that was just how people perceived things. Exactly, like it's just fun to hear how people like made sense of the natural world. You know, the world, yeah. Well, that's so cute. Do you mind if I tell my students that story? It's so adorable. A little kiwi, yeah. Yeah. Just a little guy doing his best. Giving up something and getting a big reward in turn. Yeah. Like, I know another common Maori story we were told as kids was how in their mythology, the sun was moving so fast that the day and night cycle was like, you couldn't enjoy it. So Maui um, made a rope and a hook to catch the sun to slow it down. That is so nice. Maui's a big figure in a lot of Polynesian stories. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he physically wrestled the sun so your days could be longer. Aww. Which actually, I think in um, Disney's Moana, I think he mentions that in his song. Yeah. He mentions a few mythologies, actually. Yeah, he. I think the. I think the the movie itself was actually pretty darn good, all things considered. Yeah, no, like I um, when I watched it, there were a lot of like Polynesian because I know it's supposed to be like a sort of all broad Polynesian sort of thing. But there were definitely a lot of aspects I recognized quite immediately, which was fun. Yeah. Man, I'm jealous now. The cutest birds around here are robins. We have a lot of birds. Like, I mean, the other day when I was at the zoo, I got to see some kias, which I showed you, the big, the big mm -hmm. green parrots. Yeah. Yeah, birds are just They're so very neat. friendly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I love birds. Mm -hmm. I have two of my own. Yeah, you do. Wait, I can spam Apparently chat. Currently eating. Oh, but I don't want to oh, yeah, spoil. You, I you can't. I'll, I'll, I'll spam my chat with them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've already shown my chat what my emojis are. Well, yeah, but I, I can't see your, um, I can't. I can't spoil the surprise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Yeah. Let's see. But no, I love mythologies in general. There's like so many cool stories you can find just to see what cultures, how cultures thought of something. Yeah. Okay. You're not, um, are you like waiting on me? Am I? I hope not. 
No, I'm still shaving. Okay, okay. I figured since you're taking your time, I can take my time. Yeah. Take all the time you need. Jelly bean. Jelly bean. <laughs> okay, um. And then I gotta. to Dwayne the Rock Johnson capture the essence of Maui. I think funnily enough he did because Maui, Maui's whole thing is, well, it depends which Polynesian culture you're talking about, but in Maori mythology, he is considered a hero, but he's also a trickster in a lot of mythologies. But he's he's quite a fun guy, but he, he goes through a lot of things. Mm-hmm. I mean, the way he dies in Maori mythology is quite something. And definitely not family friendly. Yeah, I would not say. I would not say that he gets a um. He gets grandma approval for that. Would not um. I'd be a little bit. What's the word? Ambivalent. Ambivalent. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see. Trickster gods are my favorite. They are. Everyone likes the trickster gods. They're just so dang cool too, man. Like, jeez. What's interesting as well to see what, again, with the differences in mythology, it's interesting to see what uh, some things consider a trickster god because some are like completely evil some are actually just chaotic forces and some are just kind of just a dude living there yeah yeah i know what you mean like um let's see i know everybody always calls attention to loki first but yeah I don't think he's i would I mean, call he's, him my favorite he's a complicated god, one in mythology because like Sometimes he is evil, sometimes he is just a chaotic force. It really depends where you look with him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, I know a lot of people point to the Marvel version, but... That's completely different. Yeah, there's more than just Marvel. <laughs> um, I'm really spending too much time on this. Okay. Um... Like, all the time you need. Oh, the <laughs> there's the cool tricks to gods, and then there's the cringe ones. My eyeballs. Your eyeballs? Yeah, I turned off my background layer so I could actually see what I'm drawing, but now, now I've done goofed because the background layer is that transparent PNG thing. No, I am. Yeah. Oh, hi, alpaca. Hi, Keen. Um. Forget how Loki is more than just a trickster god. He also controls fire. Yeah, and he also, like... Yep. I think he's, um... Like, he's not, like, uh... He's not anybody's, like, kid or anything. Like, he's just kind of, like... Like, some weird dude, if I remember correctly. Like, as in he's not the kid of someone? I yeah, think he's, he's not, like... I think he might be... But I don't think he's the kid of Odin specifically. I think I think they're brothers actually. Yeah. In mythology. Yeah, they're definitely not. They're not father son. I I know that for a fact, but I can't remember how they're related because like gods are all related weird. I so, say yeah, he is the son of a um, like yeah. In the Marvel one, they got that right. He is the son of one of the um Jotun, which are the the ice giants. Mm -hmm. Uh, and his mother is Laufey. Who is a goddess? Nice. He also has a lot of weird children. Yes. Yes, he does. He has like um <laughs> like the horse and the snake. A horse, a snake, I think. The giants. Yes. He's got like a he's kind of like Poseidon in that Poseidon has 
intercourse with someone and it's it's like a 50 50 toss up if he gets like a weirdo or if he gets like something mm -hmm. random let's see the horse one's funny because that one is like it's not even a case of like oh it was a god shapeshifted sort of thing it was he shapeshifted but it was with an actual horse yeah <laughs> yeah he has a wolf child um oh the wolf child yeah finra Yormungandr, Fenra, the horse, which is like Delta or something. Mm hmm. He kills someone on a lark, which is weird. Hmm. Let's see. Is it on a lark or for a lark? What's the. How do you say that? Half dead, half alive kid. Oh, yeah, that was creepy. Hello, I think. Fenrir is a good boy who deserved better. Yes, he does. He also brings about the end of the world, so let's not put him on too high of a pedestal. <laughs> <laughs> good boys can be bad boys, too. Good boys can be bad boys, too. Okay. Um, How see. far along are you? Um, I can be done soon. <laughs> I'm just okay. trying to figure out, like... So I'm done with the shading, but I can polish it more if needed. No, I'll I'll be done in the next... I would say in the next... Um... Maybe... How, how fast do you think I can finish coloring a body? As fast as you can... As you want to... I'm gonna go ahead and say, like, two minutes. I'm gonna give myself two minutes. It does okay. not have to be perfect. This is just for fun. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead add an eight. I'll start the process of design. I'll show I found the references I need. Good luck, Ember. Also, the bird looks good. Thank you. Hmm. The bird. Uh, we just don't know what Dr. Lurk's deal really was, but the basic premise of most of the stories is that he either wakes up and has chosen violence, consequences included, or uh, <laughs> someone forces him to solve a problem for him. Yeah, basically. That's basically how his mythology goes. Yeah, he doesn't, like... He's not always he's an just asshole kind just of the for annoying asshole's sake, it's just he's not, anything... he doesn't think things through. Mm-hmm. The roommate that, like, eats all your cereal and then doesn't replace it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he's also, yeah, he's like the roommate that does that kind of thing, but also, like, he'll vanish for the day. And then when you see him again, he's got the weirdest story to ever tell you. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like his stories would always end in either someone got murdered or someone got sent to prison. <laughs> someone got murdered or I murdered somebody. Yeah. Okay, I think... Nope. Am I... I'm gonna just touch up one... One yeah. thing. I'm gonna touch up one thing. And then I think I will be done. Uh oh, wait. Didn't think that through. Yes, Luna, you got something to say? Oh, is Luna singing? Beautiful. You're matching my picture perfectly. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. I am. Uh oh. I am uh-oh. <laughs> I am uh-oh. <laughs> oh, man. Um. I think... I think this bird was a mistake. I don't think that this bird was meant to to see the light of day. This is this is a Pokemon that needed mm -hmm. to to be got to be cold. <laughs> Need a RQ drum roll to go on for way too long. I a I'm, drum roll. I'm I can see if my soundboard has one. Probably, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Um, how have I already missed the two minute mark? Probably. I have no idea. Yeah. 
yeah, see? It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Okay. Um. His feet look freaking disgusting. Oh my god. Why did I do this choice? Apparently there is no, I do not have a drum roll sound effect on my soundboard apparently, which is a shocker. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. We didn't need the sound, the sound, the drum roll. We're fine. It's fine. We're fine. It's fine. Oh, the amount of polish that this one has compared to my previous one is sad. No, you, you're gonna see mine and you're gonna be like, Grace, what the hell is this? <laughs> I mean, the last one made me do that. Yeah, but 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 this really is this is God's least favorite child for a reason. God. This is God this is your version of Loki. <laughs> basically, man, basically. Oh my god. Okay, um I I I think I need to be done. I think I need to be done. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Do you wanna right. go first this time? Okay. Okay. Don't um don't judge him too harshly. <laughs> Let me see the boy. Okay. Here he is. Control all wait, how do I I should have gotten rid of this. Let me get rid of that layer. Okay. Oh my god, how come it's not okay there we go. Okay. Control all copy. Or wait, no, I can't do that. How do I how do I send it? Oh I have to use this little clip it tool. Okay. Clip it and ship it. Boop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I love him. I think we both probably picked the He's um. So cool. We probably picked the same um facial expression. I'm assuming that you also went for a loud boy. Yeah, I actually I'll send mine over to explain. This is my one. Oh my god, I love him. So, I, you'll notice that he has the thing coming off of his beak. I mm -hmm. based him off the world's loudest bird, which is the, the, um, white bellbird. <gasps> Get a picture of it. And, like, yeah, this is what I based it off of. The world's loudest bird. Oh, yeah, you know what? I see it. I see it. Yep. <laughs> So I was like thinking, loud and birds. Might as well do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we both did good. I like you went the very metallic route, which really works. Thanks. I feel like I feel like yours is more cohesive. Like, <laughs> but I can tell that we both went for the same like um, what's the word? Idea like the same with frills. the loud bird. Yes, loud bird, loud screams. I. I feel terrible for giving this man the most disgusting pedicure. <laughs> Exploud night will not be in God's choir. Exploud night. <laughs> Silent night. <laughs> Holy oh, night. Oh, man. His voice screams. Yeah, he screams violently in your ear at all hours of the night. And you can all you Everyone's can do is drums. just is just beg for it to stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh god! I love him though. Again? This is great. Yes, we well. Hmm. Let me think. How late can I stay up? Um. I don't think I have anything due tomorrow, and if I do, then, oh well, it should be fine. <laughs> well, we could do one more and then call it a night. Yeah, we'll do one more, and this time I'll, like, kind of cheat a little. I'll try to find an, a, a less crazy version. Like, I'll try to find a simplified. <laughs> like, if I get okay. something crazy, I'll just be like, you know what, we'll, we'll, let's let's pick something that uh, has less stuff Roll going until on. you find something. Yeah, I'll like. find, I'll find something, like, yeah. Um, so we're gonna call this Exploud Night. Exploud Night. Okay. Alright, control new. Click OK. Let's just make a random... 
Let's just make a mud background for now. Okay. Alright. Um, I'm gonna roll until we get something sim- Oh, literally the next thing I got was slack <laughs> off. <laughs> oh god. Um, what's yours? <laughs> I got Gorgeist. Oh, go Gorgeist? Go Gorgeist, it's the Gorg pumpkin. Guys. Oh, you want to do a pumpkin themed um, slot? <laughs> might as might as well end it off. With or that. we could do a, or we could do wiggly puffed, or no wiggly wiggly tuft. That was the next one that I got. I got slack off, and then I got wiggly tuft. I mean, it's up to you. Which one are you feeling more? Um, hmm. I feel like I feel like my brain can't make choices. <laughs> A pumpkin sloth is a few days late for Halloween. Yeah, that's Okay, true. heads or tails, hang on. Mm-hmm. Alright, uh... Alright, so heads will be slack off, tails will be, uh, wiggly tough. Okay. And the winner is... Slack off. Sounds good, here we go. I mean, they've both got, like, the long arm thing going on for them, so... Yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult, honestly. Okay. Slackgeist. Slackgeist. Goroff. No. Ooh. This back ain't playing around today. Ooh. I think I've got an idea. Yeah. Hmm. What's going on here? Hmm. I know my brother uh, found a shiny one of these once, but he didn't know what it was. No, he yeah he didn't know what it was, and it ran away. Oh. It was like the early days. It was like the first one he ever encountered. Oh, that's too bad. That's too sad. And uh, first shiny I ever got was um, bloody uh, electric, which is the green electric dog. Oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> I think the electric Pokemon are just so adorable, you know, man. Like that's fair, yeah. I like them so much. What does slack off look like on your front, dude? Like, show me your belly. Oh. Show me your belly. He looks cursed. Fun. Also, my pin just glitched. The lazy boy, he's so cute. Okay, at this point, I'm glad we got him then. Although, yeah. we're in the hickety hex. I'm belly. glad too, because I have a really fun idea. Also, we're ending it off with a Halloween Pokemon. How fitting. Yeah. Let's see, I wanna, hmm. Cat's awake. Are you awake or are you just gonna go back to sleep? Yeah. I think he's gonna go back to sleep. Yeah, I, I like where I'm taking this. This is going to be interesting. I am nervous. I like Gorgeist. I feel like I should use one in a run one day. She's definitely adorable. No, I'm also that kind of person that's like, whenever I do a Pokemon run, I don't know why, but I like just using the Pokemon from that gen specifically. Oh, yeah. I feel that. I am not much of a Pokemon runner, but when I do run, I would say... Oh, that's cute, actually. Okay, maybe... Hmm. But yeah, it's definitely, 
I would say it's a little difficult for me to think about having a Pokemon run. I've never no, really fail. done one. I'd probably need someone to like guide me so I don't murder my Pokemon. I mean, thankfully, most Pokemon games are fairly easy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Halloween is more than a holiday, it's a way of life. Ash will certainly tell you that. Ash is a firm believer of that, man. <laughs> he will hear none of it. I never like the taste of pumpkin. You don't like the taste of pumpkin? No, nah, it tastes weird. Me but neither. I'm always iffy with food in general. Yeah, I'm a former picky eater, so for me, I'm like very like it's like a it's kind of like a toss up whether or not I'm gonna like something. Yeah. So for me, um like for years, like, I've always had issues with food. Like, I got, I get sick very easily from it, and I couldn't figure out why, and people used to just say, oh, you're a picky eater. But it's like that mentality where it's like, I know I'm not, something's wrong, but I can't convey what's actually wrong. Mm -hmm. And then I finally got to see a nutritionist, and she's just like, oh, you have a food chemical intolerance, and I'm just like, this entire time, there was something. It was something I just didn't know how to explain. Yeah, basically. So apparently I have some, like, issues with certain food chemicals. Well, nice. I'm glad that we figured that out, man. Oh, you know, like, I'm so glad that I could actually finally put a name to it. You hear that, kids? If you've got issues as well and you know there's something wrong, go see a nutritionist. Like honestly, nowadays it definitely does feel like um, food stuff regarding, especially with kids, is being taken a little bit more serious. I feel because mm -hmm. I mean, like they used to just be the classic, oh, just starve them out until they actually eat it, instead of considering that there might actually be a problem. Exactly, man. I can't dress up an Eevee. I can body a team with an Eevee? Are y'all kidding me? I thought Eevee was just like a cute little... Are y'all saying like... They're actually... <laughs> they're actually... Viable Pokemon? Viable? Yeah, you can... What do you mean? Well, I always thought that... Po like, as much as I love Eevee, I always thought of them as like a cute little like, Oh, you know, it's not really a Pokemon that you want to try to like... Go to a gym with. I mean, like... <laughs> Given, like, what Pokemon's like, I feel like you could make any Pokemon work, because it's, like, it's a kid's game. It's, like, I wouldn't take Eevee into, like, a lot of competitive battles online, but you can use it in-game, and it can work perfectly fine if you know what you're doing. Like, honestly, Pokemon games, is as long as you have a type advantage, you're probably gonna win. I'm a little less scared of my Eevee getting hurt now. <laughs> what would you evolve it into? Oh, I was such a huge Flareon fan growing up. As much as I loved oh, the way really? the Flareon looked, I was such a fan of fire types. They were just my bread and butter. I loved them so dang <laughs> much. Mm. That's just where the good... That's the that's the good shit, you know. Yeah. Is it still the same today or? Um, yeah, pretty much. I, I still really like fire types. Um whenever I did a Pokemon ranking Fair enough. I ended up um picking mostly fire types. Um and I had I think I had a lot of um I had the hardest time picking Pokemon that were from generations that I have never seen before. <laughs> and then um oh, I had yeah. like a hard time finding Pokemon um like uh, like the fire types were difficult. Also, there's so many fire types. Yeah. Like holy crap! Fire types have, have no a lot. Idea. The one that has the most is water types. Oh yeah, you did a Pokemon fusion of like 
all of them. Well, I haven't finished it. Well, you I was you've started organizing them. Yeah. Uh, I returned what Pokemon on the chopping block. Now we've got uh, Slack off and uh, Gorgeist. Yeah. It's a pumpkin and sloth. is gonna be so spooky scary skeleton i am going to be so good are you going the spooky route um spooky for me <laughs> i'm going a cute route because i had a fun idea yeah i think i think mine's gonna end up being cute or at least mortal will will say it's cute i definitely don't um scary is not my default i mean i say these are pretty these are like two cute pokemon yeah. The spirit of Halloween, I see. Ah, yes, pumpkins and being lazy. And let's go. Sleeping Eevee in. It's very easy to. Oh, this is so far the cutest thing you've seen from me today. It is not cute. He's scary. Look at him. He's haunting. <laughs> I don't Literally. know. I don't think you can top the your haunting act from the first round. Okay. Yeah, that's true. That that was true. <laughs> yes. Yes. That was the true spirit of Halloween. Yeah, this is just like, this is cutesy kid Halloween time. This is not, um, this isn't horrific in like a true fashion. <laughs> he has an uwu fashion. face. No, he doesn't. He has a scary face. Look, he's going, hey, 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 hey. He's got a scary face. Oh, that reminds me, I need to a ask Ash if we could do the Pokemon ranking video again sometime. Because we did uh, one for, like, the last gen after, sometime after it came out. And then we were planning to do all the gens backwards. We just haven't had the time to do it. So maybe we could do that as a end-of-the-year sort of stream. Yeah, that could be fun. That'll be fun. You can't find this, Gary. He's... That's fine. That's fine. I, I'm coming up with lore that'll be scary in its own right. Like, um... We've done free Ember. We've done free Fusions, and we're going to end it after this one. Yeah. Because we tired. Yeah. Plus, my shoulder's starting to get hot. That lets me know that it's upset with me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't really stretch it too much this afternoon. Um, Which, like, granted, I wasn't doing anything this afternoon after... Oh, fun fact, grandkids. Grandma drove 13 hours total yesterday. Um, when I went to the out-of-state funeral. Um, so yeah, that happened. <laughs> so my knees are also kind of um, kind of messed up right now. They're very Ooh. upset at me. <laughs> I can Jesus imagine. Christ. Yeah, I had a feeling that you in particular, Mortal, was going to be upset about that. <laughs> my poor soul, thank you. Yeah, no. I, I was kind of waiting to say it to Mortal because... Um, I, I think I think it's a stereotype for you guys, but y'all are like, oh yeah, sorry, that's that's too far away. It's an hour and a half, can't make it. <laughs> and like all of America's over here, like the that's like halfway through my city. <laughs> yeah, no, like there is like the like traveling out here. Like, sure, it can be long if you're trying to go from one city to another, but it's never like as long as an American trip. Like Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can go to, like, different towns out here fairly quickly. You poor soul. Oh, yeah, I already said that from Ember. Ember's so nice, man. Um, mm. Dude, tell me you slept a while after that and ate. I had um gas station meat pies, which actually did not give me a tummy ache at all. I was so shocked, man. I was like, holy crap. I found I found oh the, like, the gold mine. They the actually magic. you found the magic one. I did honestly because like gas stations are are very hit and miss, <laughs> very hit and miss in yeah, old no, town I... back road countries. You have to be very um, careful because you could get some real some real questionable material. <laughs> um, but it turned I out imagine. like super delicious. I was really I was really shocked, but like in a pleasant way. <laughs> Ember's nice. Clearly you're doing something wrong. You'll make sure to fix that. No, you're a grandkid now. You have to be nice to me. I'm your grandma. 
It's like a cultural thing when uh, they travel through one yeah, state, you're gonna... still the same sort of people. <laughs> Here you go, 30 minutes Amber's out of the city, and it's going to take that as a challenge. Place. Amber would never, right? Uh, <laughs> the best I can describe <laughs> him is a gremlin. That's okay, that's okay. I am not gremlin. I, um... He is, he is gremlin that wants to think he's bigger than he actually is. <laughs> He's a chihuahua. I just I feel I feel he's like he's like one of those energy. like I describe him like a like a it's a honey badger or like no not a honey badger but like one of those critters that like acts bigger to seem scarier. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what you're talking about. He's got small dog energy. <laughs> small dog energy. Oh man. No. Oh. My avatar is a three foot tall elder horror, and you're six foot tall in real life. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Um, it sounds like yapping to me. Sorry, that's too <laughs> bad, darling. <laughs> oh, what a world! Ember oh, joins the birthday world. club with me and Kenum, and we gotta wish Kenum a happy birthday whenever we remember. Oh yeah, we should. When is Kenum's birthday? Wait, is that is that something I should know? Should I not know? I have no idea. I don't know. Sometimes I have to be careful. Ignis is um, scared for me because I do tend to give off the vibe of like, oh yeah, you can tell me anything. And then I end up oversharing and and he said, I, I, I don't want to become parasocial. So I don't want to, I don't want to do that. Oh, uh, yeah. But I also am not- I mean, I think it's perfectly fine, like, knowing, like, being told people's birthdays, that kind of thing, as long as they don't I... expect you to remember all the time. Yeah. Because, like, parasocial, yeah, like, it is on you to be careful with what you share, but at the same time, like, you can't often control how fans react to things. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've certainly had to deal with that already. Oh, I'm sorry. That's too Nah, weird. it's fine. It happens. Well, it hasn't People happened be to weird. me yet. I'm hoping it doesn't happen. I'm hoping to. I'm trying to if raise does, my grandkids properly. I will get ready to kill someone. Thanks. Well, y'all heard her. No one messes with grandma. No one messes with Grammy. What is no. the sound in the background? It doesn't sound like a cat bell. Oh, I'm sorry. That's my dog, Cinder. I've got a dog. Um, I have to leave the door open or she starts clawing at the door, whining, saying like, Mom, why aren't you letting me in? Why aren't you letting me in? And then I open the door and <laughs> she doesn't ask. come in. She just leaves. Yeah. All she wants is the opportunity to come in, look at me, and then leave. She doesn't want to stay. <laughs> no, my dog is like, Hi. they hate it when the door's closed. Because it's like, it's not because they want to go outside, but it's the fact that maybe eventually they'll want to go outside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, they want the option. They're all like the person made a comment options. and like at the gotcha life or something about the game ending your ATU, that was a weird day. No, that wasn't directed at me, but that was just directed at the ink tank in general. It was a weird situation. Oh. I just happened to be the first target. Gross. I'm glad I'm not a Ben 10 fan. I only, I'm only tangentially related to Ben yeah. 10. Yeah. Because I like Ben 10 fine enough, but I don't think... I don't think I would call myself a fan, and if I am a fan, I'm definitely a fake fan. I don't know anything about Ben 10. A fake fan. Other than, like, Kevin was kind of hot in the live action. Also, the car was way hot. Actually, I think I liked Kevin because of the car. Because the car was probably the hottest Probably, part. and that, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> yeah. Grandma's very simple. I see, I see a hot car, and I'm like, ooh, he's Damn. so cool. <laughs> Man, uh oh, okay. Oh, this is actually looking kind of good. I'm already on line art. Are you on line art yet? Yes, I'm about to be finished. Uh oh, I'm not gonna be finished with line art soon. But my... to be fair, mine was a very mine's a very simplistic design just because I, I had an idea and I went for it. Uh, this is mine. <laughs> I think the simplistic design is okay for this though. 
I mean, yeah, these are, like, they, they've got, you could do a lot with them, but, like, I think they've also, they're very simplistic in how they look, anyway. We all loved Kevin Cass as Darky. Of course we did, because Darky has good taste. You know that um, there was, there was a contest for that car. Yes, there was. Ash will stay mad about the fact that um, he did not win. <laughs> yup. Oh, nice. Okay, that was good. That was good. I'm so goaded, man. So goaded. I am goaded in every sauce. Especially Keen's sauce. Oh, now I want Keen's. I've been craving, like, salty stuff lately. Maybe it's because I had so much dang sugar at the funeral. They had, like, a... Like, the, um... The church that my grandma like a was a part of had a, um, yeah, yeah, they had, uh, she was a member, and so the church was like, oh, we'll just, like, all cook for you, and you know Baptist people, yeah, they yeah. love cooking, and they were so much sugary stuff and buttery stuff, and it was so bad for you, and it tasted so good. <laughs> I think I got, like, I know I've been craving, like, chocolate. Mm hmm Might go down to the dairy later to get some. My preferred model of car these days is a Fiat. Small but elegant. Oh, yeah, Despoina. How are you single, though? You're so nice. Sorry, I'll stop being a, a, a creepy grandma. You live your life, How are you girl. so single? Yeah, not grandma trying to riz up Despoina in the chat. <laughs> yeah, you're like real grandmas that are just like, so when are you getting a boyfriend? Oh my god, I would hate to be that grandma. If I ever <laughs> if I ever become like that, y'all, you have you have full permission to to give me some some sense knocked into me. Okay, I need What's the Pikachu that's not a Pikachu? Mimikyu? Mimikyu. Is that the one that's like pretending to be Pikachu? Yeah. Is there like a Pokemon that has stitching? Stitching? Yeah, like stitching on it. Um. Or like made of straw. Made of straw? Uh, I don't think the straw one. No. Hmm. I feel like there is one supposed to be made out of patches that I'm just not thinking of. I'm looking up fan-made Pokemon, and some of them have like. Some of them have the elements that I'm wanting. Eh, it's good enough. It's good enough. Mimikyu's oh. one, but it doesn't really have stitching on it. Yeah. Well, it just looks like a trash bag put on it. I'll just go like this. It'll be fine. I was like, I was ready to make the pumpkins orange, but then I remember neither of these are orange. Oh, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just have some brown pumpkins. Yeah. Um. Yes, Luna, do you have something to say to the class? Oh, what's the name of that Pokemon that's like, it's like a little straw doll? Straw doll? Strepith. Strepith? Pokemon? Strepith is the Ben one. Oh. Let me go backwards then. Okay, so that's what I want. But that doesn't quite look like a, I think that's a fan made Pokemon actually. And it? I can tell you if it's the case or not. Yeah, I think it is. It says strop it, but I I don't think that's real. I think that's fake. My fake. Yeah, um copy image, paste in the chat. Enter. 
I don't think that's a real Pokemon. It's not. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't look real. That kind of reminds me of uh, Lilo and Stitch almost with the doll. Right? Yeah. Of course, sloth is cuteness comes at a cost for his comfort. And... Okay, then. Okay. And then. A doll Pokemon, it better not look like Annabelle. Yeah, no, it's not an Annabelle looking one. Shepid is the real one. I think someone took, like, Creative Liberties, though, and made, like, a look-alike. Oh, uh, Shepid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this guy's looking pretty darn cool. Okay, copy-paste. Split. And then if I can make him smaller. Uh oh. Preform. Okay. Alright, I'm officially done with <laughs> That took Are you me already a done, too. Jesus? No, no, no. I'm officially done with my um, with my uh, line art. With my line art, I that took a little. That took way too long. I feel so. Okay. Bad. Okay. Um, I was about to say. I was like, you were just on line art just a minute ago. How far? Yeah, I'm. I I I I have the the um, the um, <laughs> what's the word? I have the spirit of of Jack inside yeah. of me. I stole him. Stole him. Yeah, stole him to to use for my own memes. That man is like on another level when it comes to rendering. Yeah. Gosh. One day I will be that fast. I'm that fast with like super simple doodles, but I would not say I'm that fast in like much else. Oh, it's creepy. It, yeah, it's like Mimikyu. Um, the sloth's wearing a pumpkin. <laughs> Bro's an IRL printer. Literally, literally, Jack is a printer, man. Ha he did some new um, stills for us for when he starts streaming and we all hang out again. Um, and he did he did all of ours within like two days. And they're all rendered so beautifully. Good. They're so damn gorgeous. But I don't think he shared them yet, so... He has not shared them, so we cannot share them with you, but... Just get ready, you're going to have has, a feast for your eyes. Hmm. I'm going to do some you shading. You can comprehend how he draws it. Literally, dude. Like, literally. On another level. Terrifying. Not like this guy. This guy's adorable. I mean, he's Mine's scared. pretty cute. He's He's very scary. He's very scary, not cute at all. <laughs> uh oh. There we go. Man, I think all of my coffee donations are gonna go to getting a new pin. This thing is like mad glitching. Like I just did a straight line oh, you're getting... and I got I got like three three tiny dots instead of one straight line. No going with yeah, it's okay. It's it's livable for the moment. It'll just be something I um, I think yeah. about. Like, yeah, like towards getting a new one. Yeah. Okay. Mm, let's see. That looks kind of gross. Looks like saturated a little. Oh, now it just looks like poo poo. Can I just like? What if I just used the same color? Yeah, we're just using the same color. That's just better all around. Oh, dang. I messed up. 
Okay. I think I'll be done pretty fast given how simplistic this is. Yeah, I'm just doing a flat color, but I should be done pretty soon too. Make sure to share to these with Ash so that he can realize the best fusion ideas have been taken. <laughs> so I feel like we were always going to share them with the group. Be like, look what we made. It's a pumpkin. And a oh, curse. Okay. Pumpkin. Okay. So if you're not a fan of pumpkin, do you like spaghetti squash? No. Uh, I don't think I like squash. That's okay. I like spaghetti squash because it's got a crunch to it that normal pasta doesn't, but... Yeah. I think it's, it's a mix a... of, like, texture and, um, taste. I don't know, something about, like, pumpkin and squash doesn't taste nice. Yeah, I gotcha. Then again, I, I don't like carrot because it tastes like soap to me. Really? Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Even my nutritionist thought that was very strange. Wow. But she says that sometimes your taste buds can be a bit weird. I mean, yeah. I'll say. I don't like bananas, like, at all. Well, I mean, says oh, the girl I who hate doesn't banana. eat any fruit, so. <laughs> I hate banana. The taste, the texture. Mm -hmm. I don't like the smell. It, it puts me off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even banana candy tastes horrible. Yeah, banana candy is not even real banana. Because we, um... Doesn't know. Like, real banana's not even, um... Not even real banana anymore. Because we, uh... Kind of, like, made the banana. I don't know exactly what is about that, if I'm being honest. I just know... I mean, I know that, um, a lot of, like, vegetables and stuff aren't what they used to be. Like, carrots, I know, uh, is, like, a prime example of they're not what they once were. Because we evolved them a lot. I mean, in the in the last stream, uh, when we were talking about giant sloths, because I had said the sloth is a fusion thing, mm -hmm. I said that there's a fun fact in that. Did you know that avocados almost went extinct, if not for humans? And that's oh. because, um, so you know how avocados have the huge pip in them? Mm-hmm. So, did we, like, did we make it easier for them to, um reproduce or something or to like spread their seeds uh, no so essentially what it was was uh so avocados have massive pips in them but they actually used to be way bigger in fact the the, the green stuff inside used to be very minor the the most of it was just the pip and that's because giant sloths used to eat them and pass the seeds through but when they went oh. extinct uh there was nothing that could help like carry the seeds of the 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 pip or of the um avocado until humans came about, and we um, changed it so that the the pips were smaller and there was more of the the green the green stuff inside. Well, that's neat. The crunch. Oh, the scroll on your table has been randomly scrolling. Uh oh, my condolences. And then vegetables are a social contract. Oh. Okay, I didn't realize that I had to work that hard. Um. To raise you guys, but okay, I can I can raise y'all better than that. Um, we'll get we'll get working on y'all's education soon, I guess, sooner than later. Um, cause... I know people taste mint like soap, which is why I use child toothpaste. I mean that makes sense because like toothpaste does use mint in it a lot. Yeah, I'm not a fan of mint. Well, actually, no, that's a straight up lie. Mm. I love mint. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know why I said that. I think I was trying to, like, <laughs> commiserate with you, but I can't. We Our, our experiences are not the same. I know that with, um, I like bitter food, because I love dark chocolate. You would love Malabar spinach. It's, um, it's a type of spinach that grows in super humid, super hot places, super, um, 
like Singapore, Thailand, um, Southern USA, like it loves, loves, loves all that stuff. Yeah. And it's like, uh oh, can I, yeah, I can do this. Um, but yeah, it's like super good for you. Um, not a lot of people eat it though, because they're like, ew, it's bitter, it's too bitter for me, and I'm like, weaklings, weaklings, all of you, how dare you, it's I mean, I'm weak with spicy food. Oh no, I love spicy, I won't be able to cook for you, I'm very bad with it. That's okay, that's okay, Crystal can be weak for some things, she's so strong in others. Okay. Like, uh, I remember when I was at MomoCon, Ash felt really bad because it's like whenever we went out to eat, they like had to keep me in mind because of the fact that I can't eat a lot of food for, without getting sick. Aww. Well, that's it's just constantly being a like good going, friend, "Can though. you eat this? Can you can you eat this?" Um, Bella Spice Lover here, yay! This point, I had a feeling, I had a feeling we vibe enough. Vegetables aren't a proper classification of plant like fruit. Instead, we call a lot of land-based plants vegetables when they're actually mostly things like roots. Um, okay, I'm Oh, like, God! Like, uh-oh, is everything okay? No. I got a sprite, someone raided me. <laughs> oh my God, yay! Hello! Hello, Raiders! Buzzing to bug you. Hi, Raiders! Hello, Stinkbug, thank you for the raid and the heart attack. <laughs> Hello everyone. Yes, so good. I keep forgetting that my one's really loud. <laughs> Everyone's in there. Oh my god. Well at least they're at least they're polite. Right. Welcome everyone. I'm Crystal Moo. Uh, I am collabing with um Grandma Grace. We are doing some Pokemon fusions right now. I can Yay. quickly show you. The ones I was working on earlier. The first one. Oh, thank you for the follow stink bug. The first one we did was uh Kling and Cell Valley. So we got uh Kling Sim Kling Valley or Sil Clink. Mm. We had um Horvanite and X Loud. X Loud. So we got um <laughs> Loud Knight. Yeah. And currently, we're working on the final ones, which is uh, Gorgeist and Slacking. Or, um... So I hope you enjoy. Slack off. Will we finish these up? Yeah. That's the one I've been lurking for. It's so cute. Yeah. Well, because we, we did a thing where um, we both branded, randomly generated one Pokemon... And then we have to make the, the same fusion, but then we compare at the end to see what the yeah. differences are. I'm so sorry. Excuse no, it's good. It's my bad. I, I really need to think, get a bit of sound for that because it terrifies me every time. <laughs> this isn't the first time it scared me. Yeah. It's so cool. Thank you. Yeah, it's a very fun idea. That way we can have fun comparing at the end. Yeah. It's like I can hear that noise in my is. nightmare. Sorry. Get them as well. <laughs> Halloween's over. I need to change it so it's less scary. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. I still have my Halloween avatar playing, so we're good. We're good. <laughs> How far along are you? Um, I should be done pretty soon, actually. I'm just trying yeah, to... Yeah, I think mine's almost over. Let's get back to get add some, a, a slight um... glow for the... Yeah, exactly. I'm doing, uh, I did a glow for the pumpkin, but now I'm trying to, like, get some, um, at least some minor shading going, so it's not so, like, one note. Yeah. Okay. 
Also, if you're still here, stink bug, what were you, what were you streaming? I'm oh, curious. Yeah. Where are you up to? What were you up to on this fine Twitch night? Yeah, what? Or oh, middle of the day for me. Okay, so we got that done. I am still here. I'm working on a high fantasy webcomic concept. I've been just drawing out some scenes of the character, getting real feel of like, oh, that sounds cool. Yeah. Oh, I love world building stuff. Like, I have so much I need to work on, but that sounds really cool. I hope it goes well. Yay. What's your webcomic called? We'll have to check it out. We'll have to check it out. Yeah. Get some free advertisement then. Yeah. Gotta support artists out here. Exactly. Okay. I think. I don't have a name or anything yet. It's just pretty new concept. That's fair. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's how it goes, isn't it? You get an idea and then it spirals and then it becomes something. But I hope it goes well. If you do get a name, feel free to pop by and tell me about it on another stream. Yeah. Trying to lock down the style in every year. I mean, like, I've only recently, like, named another concept for a story of mine. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, naming the story is often the afterthought. It's more just, this is the world. This is what it is. What's the name? <laughs> I'll get back to you on that. Yeah. It's like never you mind that. We'll we'll get but just look at all of this. Look at all these cool facts. Look at all this detail. Look at all this cool stuff. Ignore the fact that I haven't finished yet. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna like... start somewhere. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I think this boy is done. Oh, you think you're done? I think so. I think so. I'm done uh, as well. All right. Oh, cool. The Raiders get to see us um see us do our little yeah. comparing time. Okay. So do you want to share yours first? Yeah, I'll go ahead and share mine first. Let me get rid of this layer. And then how do I move? Okay, yeah, I forgot that I can do it. Okay. Here we go. Let me see the boy. Oh, why is it not? There it is. Okay. Yoink. Boop. And badoom. I oh, wanted to. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> it's very much not a. It, it, it's very much just pol uh, not poltergeist. Hauntergeist? Pumpkin type? Pumpkin geist? Poltergeist, yeah. Yeah, and I I just kind of gave it a little bit of Pump like figure. a sloth strong man, but oh uh, yeah 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 I just I just so wanted... I went um yeah. I went more like slacking, but made oh. it sort of a pumpkin patch sort of idea. Mhm. Mm oh. So it's like God. individual pumpkins that are tied together with the little vines. Oh, he's just a little boy. They're just little boys. They're friends. They're best friends. They can hold hands. Uh -oh. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay. thank you for the hydro. Shit. Let me drink some water. Yay! Water's important. The moon cannot. And thank you for the stretch model. <laughs> oh, yeah. We I got a little pumpkin crew. That's so good. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I still need them. to tie sounds for them in, but I'll figure it out eventually. That way I don't miss them when I'm not paying attention. <laughs> oh, I love... I think oh. we did good. I like our Someone little friends. Something. What did they do? Someone... Someone did a stretch, I think? Oh yeah, big stream? stretch. I have to do a big stretch real quick. Big stretch. Stretching My one's me. just stretch. Yeah, which honestly, my oh, 
Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad we're stopping because my shoulder is saying it's time to go. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Thank you everyone for joining us for the girls' night. Yeah, Pokemon this is girls wonderful. night. I have Let me know which one's your ass. favorite fusion. Yeah. It has to be the meme. Or wait, no. I think yeah, I think my favorite bread. was the last one you did. Let me let me open it back up. The, the loud <laughs> Oh the bird. <laughs> yeah. I love your bird so much. I think he's my favorite because he genuinely feels like an actual Pokemon. Yeah. He's just he's just a funky little dude, you know? Funky little dude. And yeah, thank you for Stink Bug for raiding. Um Yay. We'll see if I'm up for another stream this Monday, like a solo stream, because I, I mentioned that I wanted to do one. Everyone, go support Grandma Grace. She invited me to do this. Oh, yeah. It was my... Love. Wait, where did my clothes go? Gosh dang it. One second. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're back. <laughs> you have anything you want to say? Um... Uh... Thank you guys so much for joining. Um, I don't think that I should stream tomorrow. Um, so maybe we'll, um, I pulled out my controller too. Oh, oops. Um, but yeah, I don't think we should stream tomorrow instead. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, instead, since my shoulder is giving me some issues, will um, will give me uh, a day and I will see you guys on Sunday instead. Because <laughs> I really don't think I don't think I probably, I think, I think I need to take another rest day. Um, <laughs> yep. Yeah, my shoulder feels like I just, like, put it on, like, a heating pad or something, but it's, it's not a heating pad, it's just my body. <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, I'm, gonna, yep, I'm yep. gonna stop drawing. My pin is down. Here, you can hear it. Um. <laughs> I didn't hear it. <laughs> oh, you did? Well, you, Discord didn't, but, um, I think everybody else could. But, yeah. Um, who enough. should we double raid to? I don't. Let me see. Do I have any friends? Oh, yeah, let me see if there's anyone I can raid currently. Um, we've got Crystal. We could we could go to Mari. We could no. go to. <laughs> Bath is funny. There's a couple of art channels. Let me take a look at some of these and see if any of them are doing anything appropriate. Oh yeah, we should probably check if they're appropriate first. We should. I don't want to send my. Oh yeah, because like I, I know Ash mentioned that like. When you get to a certain time at night, that's when you get the you're not safe for work artists. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, no, we should yeah. I definitely need to be more cognizant. Maybe this is why I don't I don't do raids too often. <laughs> oh I found I think I've got one called Nana Love Bug. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna me... is it, she's okay. uh or them, I think. They're doing a Yep, yeah, non-binary. They are a, looks like they're an LGBT artist and they're doing cozy commissions right now. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so raid channel with... How's come it's not... Okay, there we go. Raid channel. And Nana... Go say hi, everyone. Nana what? I can give you the username. Hang on. Oh, there thanks. Nana love bug. Everyone go say hi on my behalf. Yeah, yeah. We brought cookies. Um, thank y'all so much you for watching. You brought wishing stars. Um, yeah. Thank you all. <laughs> bye. Uh, bye. Mwah. Oh, wait, I didn't press raid. Gosh dang it. Okay, um, I guess since I have five more seconds, um, we're here for a short time, so let's make it a fun time and leave this world better than we found it. Okay, now goodbye. <laughs>